Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Have you guys played Liza P yet? Just wondering, because uh, apparently people are playing Liza P. You thought I said Liza P a lot of times. I'm going to ask you a few more times before we're done playing Liza P if you played Liza P. And also, um, better question. Have you actually in... Have you approached the endeavor of participating in the dishonesty of the letter after O in the alphabet. <laughs> the stream about Liza P it is. Yeah, we're doing the first playthrough for anyone that is uh, into this game. You've already played it. That's good. If you don't want any spoilers, you could listen to it, but I understand if you have to go. Uh, I just set up the, the graphics and the audio, so hopefully everything is good with the volume. If you need me to change it, let me know. Be keeping an eye on the volume. Music sounds pretty good so far, too. But yeah, how's everybody doing? GG on the run yesterday, Rain. I, I appreciate that. That was so cool. I can't believe we got that before we finished. I was at the point where I was convinced we would have to finish it today, so that was such good timing. Yeah, I think I'm going to do more of those, though. I think I'm going to try the Hunter level 4 next. Enough Lies of P. Have you heard of Lies? Life of Pi. <laughs> Dude, I should have made the title Life of Pi. That's funny. I was going to make it pi Pies with T, but Life of Pi is even better. The movie. I, I guess tomorrow I'll probably change the title again. I'll probably make it Pinocchio Bloodborne or something like that. Did I play the demo? I've never played this game. No, I've only seen videos of the demo. In honor of the great writer Carlo Collodi. Can you hear me? Gonna make this cutscene cinematic, take myself off the screen for a second. We need your help. Gonna love this game? If you don't, I'll be surprised. A lot of people that have very similar opinions with games have liked it. From what I've understood, so I don't—I haven't heard any bad feedback, really. Oh, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. It's got pretty good visuals, to be honest. Is this an Unreal Engine? We got the punch. Okay. Jiminy, too. But we have to hurry. My name is Sophia. Please come to Hotel Crot, and I'll explain what's happening. Jiminy, please escort him to the hotel. Okay, what I'm going to do, actually, right after we check this out, is I'm going to up the volume of the people talking. So they're close to my volume. Be good. It's a very real engine. Unreal Engine 4. Equip items and gestures on the belt to use them. Upper belt is up, lower belt is down, and then X to use selected belt item. Consumables, I guess. Hold down to activate extra bag with A. And then, okay, so A is like the, the secondary, uh, s such as Y in Elden Ring, where it gives you the extra four slots. Pretty cool. And then this is just like a scrolling list with the next item coming up on the, the view on the right, okay. So we're gonna make the voice volume pretty loud. I'll bump the music up a little bit too. Because it seems pretty quiet so far. It's not too bad. Let's get you out of there. Find something that might help. Have you eaten pies with Lee? <laughs> I have not eaten pies of Lee, no. This game's beautiful. I, I like the style so far, it's really cool. But the streets are not safe. Arm yourself with one of the weapons over there. It'll be helpful on your way to the hotel. Path of the Cricket. Path of the Bastard and Path of the Sweeper. So we got balance, dexterity, and strength. 
Hmm. Interesting. And then every single one comes with two weapons? Or are they trick weapons? Do they transform? There's like a hilt and a blade for each one. That's interesting. I wonder how that works. Dude's also got a like a, a automated arm or something like that, like a bi bionic arm. There's like a bunch of automatons in this, right? I guess we're gonna pick Path of Strength because I always do that. Destination Hotel Court. Recommend escaping for this location. We got Guard LB, Dash is B, Lock on R. That's cool. Okay, so the, the the actual controls aren't too bad. They're pretty familiar. Extra bag is the A. We already got that. Switch weapon is left and right. Cool. I will say, like, so far, there is a little bit of, like, that sliding on ice feeling when turning, when running. You can kind of see him floating a little bit. It's not absolutely perfect with, like, the turning and everything, but I don't know if that's going to really matter when it comes to the combat. I'm not even sure what to call that, but yeah, there's like that weird sensation that you're kind of like slipping around. It's the only thing I noticed so far. Fancy, what's up? How's it going, dude? Also, everyone that popped in, I'm just going to say hello all together so we can just focus on the beginning of this. And then if you if you asked any questions or there's something that I missed, just let me know and I'll catch up with it. This dude's got the stanky leg, dude. He's doing he's doing some some crip walking over here. Oh, he's doing a dance. Why is he dancing? It's looking kind of funny. Oh, here we go. All right, no hit run started right now. Yeah, the running's not too bad. It's just, it's a little weird. That's the only thing that I've noticed so far with uh, jankiness, but dodging is the quick step while locked on and then still the, the roll while locked off like Bloodborne. Sawtooth wheel. The vibes so far remind me of Bioshock and Bloodborne combined. Maximum number of pulse cells increased, I'm assuming. That's what it said. Use a pulse cell to recover HP. There is a maximum number of times pulse cells can be used. When you reach the maximum, the cell will be discharged. If you attack enemies while the cell is discharged, pulse cell will be gradually charged. Interesting. Okay. Let's check out that wheel. Whatever that was. Defense parts. That's the converter. Usable items. Grinder. Yeah, I'm gonna look through all these in a second. Where did that thing go, though? It wasn't the the converter, was it? Bioshock, Bloodborne, and Dishonored as well. Yes, Dishonored. I never played that, but I know what it's like. I think I, I tried a little bit of it, but I never actually played the full thing. Never owned the game, so. Sawtooth wheel is a usable item. Do I have to go into it? Oh, okay. I have to click the actual slot. But where? How do? You, can you get to the bag without doing that? Is there a bag button? Okay, it's this one right here. Yeah, there we go. A cogwheel that is a common sight in crap can be thrown to draw an enemy's attention. Even worthless items can become useful if you collect them. Everything became useful in battle in the paralyzed city. That's a weird way to say that. In battle in the Paralyzed City instead of the battle in the Paralyzed City. So it's kind of like an alluring skull. It's interesting. We got Last Resort. Immediate character death upon use. Uh, I guess that's to like recall to checkpoint. Releases all of the P organs energy at once. Monad's Lamp increases brightness upon use. So it's illuminating the dark. And then we got the Grinder. Weapon durability decreases each time you attack an enemy with a weapon. Use a grinder to repair. When durability falls to zero, attack decreases and the weapon cannot be repaired with the grinder. Thus, it is advised to keep an eye on the durability gauge. And then we already, we, don't know, we know what the pulse cell does. It's our health, right? 
And then that's about it. That's what we got so far. We got defense parts too. Physical damage reduction rate. Parts that enhance puppet frames can absorb physical damage. So that's the basic frame. The old generator converter. These all have like different stats. So I guess uh, that's sort kind of like armor or like part of the character build in some way. It's definitely not like rings. I'm assuming amulets are like rings right here. It's kind of a weird way of doing it. Because I, I don't know. You can't really see these, can you? They're like inside the guy or something. Now uh, we got the cartridge prototype. Then we got the Union Certified Liner. It's an offhand weapon. Cool. Okay. What you doing? Oh, there's a running heavy attack. That's cool. Is there a jump attack? Wait, can you even jump? I don't think so. And I just used the pulse cell because I was trying to jump with X. Okay. Whatever. Making it harder. Already doing a run. Charge attack. Ooh. So I get a combo with that. Try R3. R3 is to lock on. Uh, L3, I don't know if there's even a control that's listed for that yet. It just says R3. The lock on. And then guard is LB. That's a punch just with the offhand. Are your sub notifications off or is your phone bugging out? Wouldn't be the first time, Dopey. The sub notification should be turned on, but like, did you actually activate it? Because when you resub, it doesn't work unless you refresh and then you click the button to announce it if it's a resub. If it's a new one, it'll always pop up immediately, but if you have sub before and you're continuing, you do have to like refresh sometimes to get the prompt for it. Unless I miss something. Going in blind, or have you looked at content beforehand? I saw Catalyst review the demo, and I watched about five minutes of it, and I just caught him saying that the the dodging into enemies kind of got you stuck on their, their character models, and it was a little bit weird, but apparently they fixed that, according to a lot of people. So that's all I know about the game, really, and I've seen just, like, a couple different things from the, the trailer. Uh, you can block enemy attacks by guarding. If your guard is successful, your character will take reduced damage, but it will consume stamina. It's pretty basic. The reduced damage will be transferred to guard regain. Hmm. Guard regain accumulates but gradually decreases over time. When you have guard regain, you can attack enemies to recover HP. So you get rally with the guard regain. So rally in Bloodborne, if you haven't played Bloodborne, it's mainly you just get the health back when you attack. If you've already taken damage within the last second or so. There's like a weird phantom bar when it, when it decreases. If a guard succeeds right before being hit, it triggers perfect guard. Ooh, that's cool. I like that. When a perfect guard is successful, you will not receive damage. Only stamina is consumed. You can use perfect guards to destroy an enemy's weapon or put the enemy in a staggerable status. Nice. So that's kind of like a Sekiro deflections. So the world might be mended. Uh, still damageless. Let's go. <laughs> uh, RJ, thank you for the 34 months. Welcome back, dude. Also, Bun, have a good rest of your day at work, man. I'll see you after. This will be uh, cut down into a video of the first playthrough on the main channel, so you guys will see my, my first playthrough. And then the full thing will be on the second channel if you do want to watch the playthrough. As well as the VODs. But I'm sure I'm not I'm probably not gonna get crazy far today. I heard this game was kinda hard. So we'll see. L3 while sprinting. Oh! Okay, so there's like a regular kind of jump. But you can't attack out of it though. It's a funny looking jump. Plan on beating it eventually or just trying it out? Oh, I'm gonna play the full thing. I'm gonna beat the game for sure. With this one. This is actually something I was waiting for, and I was just waiting to make sure that other people thought it was good to get it, and I was gonna get it pretty short after it came out. Rear fatal attacks. The sneaky, sneaky.
Sushi is amazing. What kind of sushi do you have? If you just bing bang bonk the enemies, you should be fine. Okay. <laughs> That's good to know. Um, RJ, I've been doing good, dude. How are you doing? Also, again, if anybody did resub and I miss it, just just let me know. Just spam and chat in all capitals. I resubbed. Big dum dum doesn't pay attention or something like that. Then I'll feel really bad and then I'll never talk to you again. But it'll work though. <laughs> Jammer, what's up? How's it going, dude? Oh no! Runs over, dude. We took damage. It's too late now. We gotta restart. <laughs> These posters are definitely Bioshock style. Chamber of Machina Workshop? Okay, Machina or Machina? Here's a really good question. This is like the gif or jif. Is it Machina or Machina? 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 Machina, there we go, okay. Have you had any PC upgrades? Haven't been around much lately, but the stream's looking crisp, team. Uh, I have not for a long time. I have the RTX 2080 and an i7, I think it's the KB Lake, on, I think it's a Z200 series motherboard, and then 16 gigs of DDR4 right now. There are doors and ladders all throughout the crat that are locked by devices. You can unlock these doors or go down the ladders to create shortcuts. Fable Catalyst. That's a big dude over there. Okay, wait, let me see what that is. A catalyst made to su supplement puppet abilities rapidly charges Fable. Is that the blue bar? Catalyst made puppets more efficient by circulating ergo energy within their bodies. This grand groundbreaking invention was based on one alchemist's idea. That sounds like something that would be to do with the blue bar. In the future, when we change out our voice boxes, you're going to download mine. <laughs> That'll be a billion dollars, dude. Microtransactions. There's going to be some sort of attempt to assassinate me so, like, I don't have to get the money and then you guys can, like, all split it between each other. I'll put it on the black market and then get, get taken out. Everyone's going to split the money and then get to download it for free. <laughs> Uh, so, I'm not sure how to say your name. E-Winner? E-Winner? I appreciate that. Thank you, dude. Okay, let's see if I can get the perfect guard. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. I'm not sure how you activate it. It's like early or like right on the dot. There we go. Cool. He's pretty tough. Okay, I'm gonna kill him normally now. <laughs> Let's do that. Can I even block a regular attack? Charge attack, I already did that before, okay. Ooh, fatal attack. Face a staggered enemy RB. Nice. Okay, one other thing I noticed too, it doesn't give you this feeling that you're locking into any of the criticals. So if you do a backstab or you do the, the fatal attack, it doesn't get, like, you don't know you're actually doing it until you get used to the game, obviously. Whereas in the other games that are kind of like this in the genre, like, they give you a very obvious indication that you're starting to do it. So it's kind of confusing. It feels like you're just attacking normally until you see that he, the character just keeps going. Okay. This guy's really cool, actually. I like the aesthetic of how they designed everything. Almost perfect guard. Was that actually not a perfect one? That guy killed you so many times, Rain. Have you been streaming this? Immortalized by EA Sports. That's funny. <laughs> oh, I didn't. I didn't check that. Damn it. Did anybody catch what that said? What is the LB plus Y? 
does that even do? Perfect shows red, okay. So Icy Wiener, welcome back. Looking forward to me playing this game. Apparently a lot of people were. The, that's why the title is Have I Played the Game, because it was being asked every few questions yesterday. Hopefully the actual fluidity on the stream looks good. If you guys want me to change the graphics because it's like laggy, let me know if it seems stuttery or anything. I can't really tell. Sometimes it's hard to, to know for sure. On my end, it's fine, but sometimes on the preview, it doesn't show what's actually happening properly. Okay, we came from down there, and then we got to go through here. I think. Yeah. Smooth, no legs. Maxed out settings. So my settings are actually on high, which is pretty impressive. That's that's good enough for me. It's almost maxed out. Also, Ali, what's going on? How are you? You were asking if I was going to play this too, right? Krat Central Station Plaza. Stargazer activated. Fully recovering HP and stamina as well as charging your pulse cells with the Stargazer. You'll be received at this point in case of death. So it's kind of like a checkpoint. Um, remember, this process also revives enemies, not just your character. It's pretty cool. This is called a Stargazer. A marvelous device the Stalkers used in the past. As we are, we are not strong enough to beat the puppets. But if I lend my power to this stargazer for a moment, gather ergo, clever one. This stargazer will make you stronger. But the stargazer's strength doesn't last forever, so be careful with it. Hurry up and come to Hotel Krat. All right. Uh... Level up or use storage. Hmm, I wonder if there's, there's going to be a maximum burden in the bag. Oh, it, there actually is. It says 35 of 78. I'm not sure if that's on the character or it's total items carried, but that's that's interesting. Um, so we got 2146 for the uh, the resources. The ergo. We got vitality. What's the what's the explanation of these? Does it show? shows like what it actually affects on the common abilities HP and guard regain we got vigor for stamina which is kind of weird because vigor is usually health it's either vitality or vigor for health capacity is legion and weight motivity is physical fire electric and acid defense plus physical attack and arm attack abilities increase and when it says abilities, I'm assuming that's like, that means like you can do more than one arm attack. Maybe there's other things for that. Technique. Uh, the same thing. Interesting. Advance is just fire, electric acid, disruption, shock, and break, and legion. Okay, that's kind of confusing. I have no idea what that's going to be doing. So I'm going to... I'm going to do motivity by one, or is that two? Yeah, one, and then one vitality. And then watch it be that this game, you just need crazy resistance to everything. <laughs> I was leveling the wrong stats the whole time. Uh -oh. The fact that this weapon starts with a poke attack is uh, a little scary. Do I have a slash? For of any sort by default oh. at least you can run pretty fast okay the running r2 is a slash that's still a poke with the running r1 where are you going
I want to try this Fabled Catalyst thing. Yeah, that is Blue Bar. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Use Fabled Arts. Ooh. I should have probably hit him with that. Oh, I hit the carriage, dude. Resistance best in DS1. It actually was pretty good in DS1. Although, if you thought that meant something, and you put all the points into that early on, especially when the game came out, because everything gave you way less souls until they updated it, that would have been really rough. Dogs are so much better in this. I don't know, dude. The Bloodborne dogs and the Elden Ring dogs are pretty damn good. Like, even, even the DS3 wolves in Painted World, I like those too. Although the design is really cool. If I actually die to a dog in the next like 10 minutes, I will agree with you. Sekiro dogs, the easiest. You can throw the shurikens at them and just knock them over too. Want me to break it down or leave you to it, Dopey? Uh, if there's anything I ask a question for, you can totally answer it. And then if you, there's something that doesn't tell me what's about to happen in the main events, and it's just a suggestion of, like, something that would help, you can totally tell me about that kind of stuff, too, like mechanics or other things. I just wouldn't want to know, like, what's ahead of where we're going. Unless I ask you guys. Looks, took all the best uh, of Souls games and left out the worst. That's good to hear. I guess it's going to be hard to tell until we actually get into it, but that's... So far, it's pretty cool. Pay attention to the notes you pick up. Yeah, I'll read all the notes. The only thing I missed so far is there was one thing that popped up when I was trying to kill that big dude after the perfect deflect thing, and I didn't see it because I was trying to fight him. Pressed A too soon. Get the most loyal servant. Oh no, it's gonna be basically 2035 when people have robots making them breakfast. I can't break that. Oh, it was just the fable arts it was talking about, okay. Yeah, because I saw something with the Y button. You don't like robot breakfast? <laughs> what if robot breakfast is perfect, though, every single time? Because it's just an algorithm. It's like factory-made food or something like that. Badger, thank you for the Prime sub. I appreciate it, man. So how have you been, dude? Pro tip, if you actually, indeed, not get hit by enemies, it would be the best. That potato emote is so funny. I feel like that's what your face looks like every single time you say something in chat, because most of the things you say are sarcastic, right? <laughs> like, that already kind of outlines what I imagined you look like every time you're like, hey, well, what if you're like, well, it's a good, good thing that you're using a voice changer and you're trying to, like, make me do the voice where it sounds like I actually am using a voice changer of some sort just because you're tricking me into it. Or it's a, it's a good it's a good thing that this happened. Whatever. <laughs> Started this game this week. You love it. Also working heavily on learning art perspective. Okay, wait. I think you mentioned that uh, was it two days ago or yesterday? The art perspective thing. I was asking you. That's like basically like depth perception in a picture. So if you were to draw like three characters and like you know it's one in front, one one in the middle, one behind. How to actually accurately uh, like make the anatomy reflect. The perspective, right? Or if it was like a building or like a cityscape and there's like a certain angle, it would be accurate to like the, the the depth of that. That was something, there was a guy that worked for Marvel that did really bad with that and then he, he ended up actually doing the illustrations for some of the most famous comics and some of the covers look really funny because he didn't do the perspective properly. And he was getting called out by, uh, I think it was... I think it was McFarlane was calling him out. And they're like competing with each other. I can't remember the guy's name.
Darkwood Green Ring for Gwyn earlier. Oh, that'd be pretty crazy, actually. Darkwood Green Ring on Gwyn. That probably would be, like, one of the only things that would actually help you if you were just going to run around the arena and fight him normally. I, I always did the running around the circle where there's, like, that stalag. I think it's a stalagmite coming out of the ground. And then at least it kind of stops him sometimes. Or you just try to stagger him and then, like, go behind him slightly. And before he can attack again, you can get a few staggers in. Vivid Ergo Fragment. That's probably just you pop it and it's like a poppable soul. Yeah, okay. When is Gundyr coming in? I don't know. Also, Redhawks, this is my first playthrough, yeah. Some enemies become red and use a strong attack called a Fury Attack. If you can't dodge or guard Fury Attacks... Oh, sorry, you can't, but you can counter with perfect guard. So it's kind of like unblockables and Sekiro with the Makiri counter. We're just like evading them. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay. I wonder how much it takes to stagger in this. Can I interrupt some of the stuff he's doing? Also, you can, you, I guess you can only get a backstab if it's actually a sneak situation. You can't just go for it. Oh, there we go. Cool. The way they run at you sideways. I know, the first enemy in general was looking like he was breaking. At the same time, <laughs> as he was trying to kill me, it was funny. Fix the weapon. Oh yeah, the weapon durability. Oh, that's really cool. I was like wondering, the character looks kind of funny. Is is the whole character a robot, or is it just his arm? Because his expression's kind of like, just like, I'm dead inside. <laughs> <laughs> Potato, thank you for the 42 months. Welcome back. I've done it. I've reached the answer to everything. All is complete. Glad to see you're playing this finally. You love the game. What's the answer? Is it E equals MC squared? I was always thinking that was the answer. Oh, 42 is the answer. Okay. I'm going to use 42 for every test in every single field uh, or inquiry that's on a document ever. The rest of time. Also, I don't know about the health here. Uh, we're going in with really low HP. Let's do it. To see how hard the dogs actually are. Oh, yeah, yeah, wait, 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 you actually get the heals. Okay, the pulse cell, yeah. Okay, so it gets discharged, and then, like, when you attack them, it charges it up. I see, I see. I wasn't fully understanding on that. I thought it had something to do with the health bar and rally efforts. For more than 1,000 fathers, mothers, children, grandparents, and babies, Israelis that have been slaughtered in the morning of 7, 10, 23, attacked by evil... Thomas Terrace, Naughty. Oh boy, the politics, man. Yeah, I haven't heard like a crazy amount about that, but someone was talking to me about it earlier. I still have to like read a little bit on that situation. Lives of Peace, Spencer. Oh yeah. Yeah. When your nose gets bigger, it's the best weapon. Does that actually happen in this? You can you can be like Pinocchio? Is that why people were saying Pinocchio <laughs> earlier? Oh, 
Oh, they have, like, little go signs. That's funny. Playing this first run blind? Uh, if I can recommend the hardest to achieve ending is worth it the first run, which is lying anytime you can. Interesting, okay. Uh, yeah, this is the first playthrough. I, did, I don't really know much about how it works other than just the basic mechanics at this point. Also, this area is definitely pretty dense. I know we came from here. Now we got the option to go up here. We can go... Looks like forward and left. There's three directions. I'm almost tempted to run all the way back to get the checkpoint, but... Oh, there's a heal right there. Dim ergo. Oh, that's not a heal. That's the, the fragment to pop for the ergo. A lot of spoilers in chat. At this point, like, I've, I've kind of understood no matter what. Like, I, I used to play things, and I would have it on sub only where you'd have to pay money to spoil, and people would still pay $5 and then just tell me something, even though it says in the title. And even though I know they mean well, it would be very hard for them to not say something just because they're so excited. So at this point, if I'm playing this game and it's live, like, I know there's a chance that it's not going to be completely avoidable. So I don't really care anymore. It's, like, the same thing for any game. I used to be, like pretty particular with the ones I'm excited for. And this wouldn't even be, like, the biggest deal to not spoil, but, uh, for example, when they make the next FromSoft game, like, it's gonna happen. It happened with Elden Ring, it's gonna happen with... Uh, I think it happened with Dark Souls 3, and I actually stopped streaming it for the first playthrough because it was so bad, but... I've gotten over that now. It's not, like, a... annoying thing as much as just it's expected, right? If it didn't happen, it would be kind of weird. We'll upload this to YouTube. I'm gonna have an edited version of the first playthrough with just some impressions on it, and then the full playthrough will be on the second YouTube channel. Which I was saying at the end of this week, like there'll be a link to it in the actual bot, so you can just use it, and you can watch um, some of the full the full playthroughs I've already done for some things like Armored Core. Uh, the let me think the playthrough we did yesterday that we finished up of the Fat Rolling Night Level Five will be on there, the full thing, and then we'll slowly be putting vods on of other things as well. I think there's Blasphemous on there too. Tons of different little things, so that'll just be the full version of the edited down games that make it to the main channel and then everything that's not applicable to it. Oh, the carriage is blocking the way. Blasphemous was so good. It was really cool. I just stopped playing it and then took a break and then all this other stuff came out. We got Mortal Kombat 1, this game. I still hadn't played it much, Street Fighter 6. And then I wanted to go back and do the Elden Ring level 1 hit list. There was the DS1 run. I want to do the marathon of all the games. Uh, Lords of the Fallen is coming out in the future as well. I think it's soon. If not, like, already, right now. <laughs> Miyazaki was part of the dev, dev team as a consultant for this game, really? Is that true? Ban everybody who spoils the game. <laughs> I'm lucky that I don't have moderators that just go and do that, because I've actually seen... Like, my, my name was even mentioned in this one Reddit thread where, like, they were talking about a particular person and how one of their mods has ruined their community, essentially, by giving... They gave them enough power to just ban everybody all the time. And they were just going nuts with it. So please... Be careful. It kind of became like it wasn't even like they were told to do it. They'd just do it, and then the person streaming just accepted it or even didn't see half of it because he was just preoccupied. So apparently uh, there's some there's some pretty power-hungry mods out there. Oh, it's like a boxing. Oh, shit. What is going on here? Is he just like a test dummy, or can I kill him? Oh, it's like practice to do the, the deflex, isn't it? Hello there. Welcome to Karat, visitor. I didn't think there were any stalkers left to fight the puppets. You didn't hear? Figures. The whole organization fell apart. All that's left are wannabes and amateurs who think they can fight on their own. You ought to buy something while you're at the festival. You can't rely on yourself alone. Gotta get something from the festival. Do we get a corn dog? Might be a little rusty. Time to practice pairing. I should. 
Voice acting in this game's horrible. All the characters are annoying. I will say the main character talking to us so far, leading us through this uh, the city, the voice acting is not like top tier. I would, I would say it's more reminiscent of like a B game that's done pretty decently. It's not terrible or anything. This this guy right here has a decent voice acting in my opinion. Out here alone, you could use some help. Here's a festival gift for you. Now get yourself something useful. It's not terrible. It's like it's not. I would say it's a seven out of ten for like what the game is. Uh, just this ad, this NPC, and it also could be like the instruction they're given for the inflection and like the uh, the enthusiasm. Like they might be told to have that cadence, and it's not like the actual voice actor's choice. Because there's some games that are just written really funny too, and there's no way you can actually make the script even sound that good, depending on how they write it. And then there's also characters that are written to be annoying on purpose. So, it, with all that considered, it's not. It's not like actually ruining the experience, but it's definitely not making it like, oh yeah, it's on the level of Bloodborne voice acting, for example. Throwing cell. A large output battery that can be thrown inflicts electric blitz damage at the area of impact. Ooh, pretty cool. After the puppet frenzy, people began to fashion weapons of resistance in their, des their desperation. Many throwable weapons were manufactured, and these exhibited excellent results against their marching enemies. Got electric Blitz abrasive. Temporarily imbues weapon with electric blitz. So that'd be like a buff, like a resin. A uh, saber handle. Interesting. Got the rapier blade and then great sword of fate handle, which I thought I already had that. They're all 300 each, though. I should probably just buy a bit of everything. Oh, you can actually get, like, multiple of those, too. Okay, for anyone that has played this, what do the handles really do? Is it just changing the properties of the weapon that I'm using, like the blade itself? Can you combine them? George Lucas dialogue. <laughs> the moveset and the handle art, okay. So that that the Y button attack, the, the special and the scaling too. All right, we'll just get all of them. And I got one of those. I'm gonna get one of these too, and then we'll use these if we really need to. I got thermite, thermite bombs. That's kind of like the throwing cell. Got four of the wheels, nice. Okay. This guy's not gonna kill me, is he? Anybody find the uh, the pairing easy in this or difficult? It seems kind of like in between. It's not not like I've played a lot, but some of the enemies seem like they kind of hide their attacks pretty well. It's a tight window. That that too. Yeah, the window definitely seems tighter than Sekiro. Easier than Sekiro? Really interesting. And then can you can you parry like a full combo? So like if I were to just get attacked three times, could I just wait and then build up stagger towards that enemy by doing that? Is that kind of the strategy? You can just play like that. Parry the platypus. <laughs> can parry every hit, okay, that's cool. Nice. Uh, level up. Can we do that still? All right now. Almost. Oh, I could pop one of the things too. I like to save these when I play first playthroughs. If there's resources that help for the points or like the money or anything, I like to save it quite a bit. So, I'm gonna level once. 
with the motivity again. Definitely harder than Sekiro. I was gonna say it just feels like the window is very short. The frames on it are like it's like kind of rewarding, but somewhat of a challenge. It's not like you're gonna be using that all the time. Collectible. Okay, we got this. This collectible thing. Switch display. Here appears a terrific puppet that will enliven the parade. Introducing Parade Master, a remarkable p parade puppet model from the workshop to celebrate the grand exhibition. The Parade Master has the following functions 16 jolly songs, cheerful laughter, and 54 parade phrases. Parade dances to delight children. The strength to carry six men on his shoulders. What? <laughs> parade Master is made big in commemoration of the grand exhibition. Check out its charms on the eve of the upcoming exhibition. Got the newspaper. Uh, Krat Grand Exhibition has been delayed. This decision was made to protect the citizens until Puppet Frenzy, the Puppet Frenzy that had recently paralyzed the city, is under control. Wait. The, this decision was made to protect the citizens until the Puppet Frenzy that has recently paralyzed the city is under control. Okay. The occurrence began on Rosa Isabel Street, resulting in hundreds of casualties. While the cause is still unknown, the number of casualties and the scale of damage are both growing. As the crisis dragged on, the workshop and Venigni, the Nigni company, Krat's largest puppet factory, announced that they would offer emergency supplies to citizens and do everything they could to alleviate the situation. Task Force is investigating the possibility of a fatal loss of the Grand Covenant, while the control of protocol of the workshop's puppets, sorry, which is in control of the protocol puppets. However, there is no quick solution as to how sorry, now the puppet as of now the puppet frenzy is resulting in more casualties as the city braces for a resurgence of the petrification disease. The citizens were advised to stay indoors for their safety. However, many citizens are trying to escape through Krat Central Station, intensifying the general chaos. Interesting. We got passenger's note. If anyone finds this note, get out of the station and run. Be sure to steer clear of the waiting room. I saw a huge puppet smashing people to death in there. That was the one we saw, <laughs> I think. I'll lock the door, but I don't know if that'll work. At least it should stop people from randomly coming in. I'm going to die soon, so I want to help you even if it's not too much. Please survive. This is, this would be like like a WhatsApp group ch group chat or something like that, but back in the day when you just have to write it in paper. In like some sort of like dystopian time where there's no cell phones. There's like, I am going to die. Hiding around corner. Oh no, they are coming. Everybody be careful. And then it would just like end. And then you see blood on the bottom of it. <laughs> so that was a really like useful way of trying to save yourself. <laughs> According to Google, you have to press and briefly hold the block button to get your full parry frames instead of tapping it. Oh, okay. And then that makes it work a lot easier if you're early on it. Okay, let's try that again then. That's not really making a difference to going earlier. It's still pretty last second. Like, I can tap it on this controller fine, exactly like Sekiro. Yeah, it's, it's definitely tappable. That's interesting. I wonder if maybe maybe they fixed that. Was there an update for this game before today? Vanini. Oh, it's Vanini, so the G is silent. Something like that. Ooh. There has been one update. You've noticed the difference between tapping and holding? I wonder if it's based on the controller. Okay. Parade Master. Oh, he's, like, he's like speaking hieroglyphics. Oh no.
Oh yeah, I forgot you have to just do something about that. Ooh. Are the iframes good on this, or is it, they're not really iframes? weapon durability will play into this. Is there an actual pause button too? Oh, did I, am I imagining that? Did I just pause? No pause? Oh, okay, so he's being nice. He's being really nice. There we go. Rip. Wow, streamer, I can't believe you died on the first boss. I did it first try every single playthrough I ever did, and I helped 10 people online. Crazy. Don't tell me he drop kicks. That'd be amazing. If you die in the boss battle, death ergo is created at the entrance of the boss arena. Interesting. It's just me picking up my stuff. He talks like what you hear when someone is talking to you right as you wake up, corner. <laughs> Dude, that's like the... Uh, there's a video of making fun of that where the guy's like, where play C CD salami salad? And the guy's like, what? And he's like, I said... Stroop noodle do, do, doodle squat like some some random thing and he's like he's like he just woke up and he has no idea what the guy's saying. He's like talking normally, but that's what the guy hears that was asleep. <laughs> he's like Stroop waddle doodle doodle snick it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Second try. No heals.
fell for it. No. Oh shit. Ah, fell for it again. This looks good, Muffler. It's pretty cool, dude. <laughs> Partick Redap. Streamer, you should know that Redacted deals Redacted and makes it easier. That's, exa that's, that's exactly what I was thinking, man. That's exactly what I was thinking. Thought that was a plunger on his head. <laughs> the toilet boss. You don't think you first tried a single boss? Did second try for some, but you feel you first tried way more in Souls games? Really? That's a good sign. Unless it was just like the learning curve. I'm so good at doing that one. Not the other big attack. Oh, I or that. Okay. Trap. Missed the opportunity to get the cool attack. Everyone's like, oh my god, Super, you're supposed to get the critical. What are you doing? Already failed. Oh wait, that was one too? Interesting. That was cool. That was it was pretty fluid. Like there's nothing wrong with the dodging or anything. It was actually pretty simple. Okay, what did we get? Got the quartz. P organ ability activation part. A colorful tiny ergo fragment. It activates a special ability when equipped to the P organ. There is a special kind of ergo with different color than vibration. The workshop uses this gem to bring out puppets different abilities. So I can put that on right now or I need the workshop. Seems like the workshop is needed. Oh, like there's a, there's other arm slots too. That's cool. Thank you for the GG's guys. Oh my god, he beat the tutorial. That's crazy. Whoa. Uh I got I got I got a heavier frame. But it has um greater physical damage reduction, so I should switch that then. What's this? Oh, there's gestures. Okay. How do you do those? Move to equipment. Wait, what? Is there a gestures button? Equip them on the hot bar. That's, that's kind of weird. <laughs> that they're equipable. Okay, wait. We got to go back to the screen where we got... The setup. Switch this. Wait. 
wonder if they're going to give us a checkpoint pretty soon, or I should go all the way back. Get that other one, and then run back in here. That might be a smarter idea. Our lies of peace stored in the balls. <laughs> I think so. Hotel crap. The greatest luxury you will ever... Oh, why does it fade away so fast? You'll ever experience. Treat yourself to an unforgettable day. You know what? That message needs to be longer. This game's not worth $79.99. The message faded away too quickly, and I don't read fast. <sighs> I'm gonna get a refund, guys. One more thing I should mention. The hotel security excludes puppets like you. It's gonna be my Steam review. So you'll have to lie to get inside. You're a special puppet, after all. Well, I guess that's living up to the name of the game right there. You have to, you have to be a big fibber in this game. Speedrun? Will I speedrun this game? I might actually. It, it seems pretty cool. Speedrun on this might be fun. Oh, wait, you're just saying speedrun to, to get the refund. True. Is this game really $80? It is a full price game, yeah. Dim Ergo Fragment. Dibbed for your pleasure. <laughs> I hope you do. I, I saw that Distortion was starting a speedrun, but I didn't watch anything. I just saw the title. Welcome to the Century of the Grand Oh, Canadian Covenant. Dollars, yeah. True. Prove your identity. Who are you? I'm gonna be a human. Grand Covenant's fourth floor. A puppet cannot lie. Welcome to Hotel Crot. Your springs are reacting. Ooh. Getting the heebie jeebies. You paid $60 USD on PlayStation, which is roughly the same. Cosmic, what's up, dude? We're playing it. It's not lies of P, it's lisp of. L lisp of? <laughs> Solid set piece. Oh, this is a pretty cool intro. Hope you're having an amazing day. Enjoy the game. Uh, Real G, I appreciate that. Thank you. Or Real GG. Real GG next. Hope you have a good day as well. Is Lords of the Fallen out yet? I don't know if it actually is or not. I thought it came out like within the, like either today or the next few days, but yeah, we're definitely not going to play it right away for a few reasons, which I'll talk about after, but yeah, oh, well, they're building the city. Piano robot looks straight into your soul while plays Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata. <laughs> or is that is that Beethoven? Wait, Moonlight Sonata. Yeah, is Moonlight Sonata Beethoven? I think it is. Or is that no? Yeah. Yes, it is. It is. Okay. Let's, <laughs> Let's make it sure. So the world might be mended. How many tries on Parade Master? I think I took three tries. Also, Sam, thank you for gifted my US sub. I appreciate that. This Friday is, is Lords of the Fallen, okay. Friday the 13th, that's a cursed launch. Like let's give us let's give some quick tips and some information about the story, but we're gonna flash through them so fast because your computer loads lightning speed. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. Chaki, welcome back, man. So the world this game's in your top five. Top five games? That's a pretty big deal. Thanks for all the talks, keep it up, brother. Chaki, no worries. Thank you for the two months. I'm so happy to see you. 
I am Sophia. I've been waiting for you. Searched all over the city of Krat to find you. You must have questions. Geppetto will have answers. But we have to find him first. He was last seen on Elysian Boulevard. All of Krat is dangerous for humans. And that neighborhood is one of the scariest. Please find Geppetto on Elysian Boulevard. I'll explain more once you find him. You can level up through Sophia using Ergo in your possession. You can increase your stats when you level up. Wow, dude. I didn't know that leveling up meant that stats increase. I thought that was something else. That's crazy. Oh. I beat the first boss and they're just telling me that you level up and there's stats that increase? And I've already had the chance to level up? That's a really good tip. <laughs> I have uh, Kurizu as an emoji. Yeah, Kurizu was one of the first emotes. I remember before I got partnered, uh, I had just finished Steins Gate and I was a big fan and I was like, we gotta make a Steins Gate character emote. I thought that was probably the best one, so. And there was someone else that had the, uh, the Mayuri emote and as a combo, it was like a perfect thing. It was cool. Okay, we got two more levels. I'm gonna do Vitality. The sarcasm is ripe. Yeah. Well, Gemini. it's true though. It's like they're like, oh, you can increase in levels by leveling. <laughs> That's proof you're broken. The real Gemini isn't so calm. I'm no inventor, but perhaps I can fix him. Or perhaps he'll fix himself in time. Wait, take this pocket watch. Krat is a labyrinth of peril right now. This watch will guide you to a safe place. Be careful. I don't see a watch. I see Never empty work. hands. Lies. Lies of level up lady. Moon phase pocket watch. Wait, am I missing? Oh, it's right here. Teleport to hotel or last stargazer used. Oh, that's cool. And then, wait, this one, this one's kind of like the same thing, but the bad version of it. It's like the dark sign versus a, a permanent homeward bone. Nice. Okay. I'll use my power to help you. In the folklore of Krat, a cricket often acts as a guide. That is why these automated models became popular. But Gemini is unique. He's more than just a guide. As you get more familiar with Gemini, you'll see what I mean. Ask for something else? I was like, what about a sandwich? No, I'm joking. <laughs> Hey, they did say that the, the bots are coming where they can make the, the food and play the piano. We saw the cutscene. Not my first rodeo. Basically, motivity, strength, and technique. Dex, okay. Those are the only I stats. I heard about you from Geppetto, but to see you in person. Wow. You should take this. So the resistances Geppetto don't matter. With me. Eugenie. The voice acting of these two aren't that bad at all. We got the plasma cannon on the arm here. Or is that a grapple? Are we grapple? Are we, are we Spider-Man? What's going on here? Legion arm is a special equipment that is equipped on the left arm. Each Legion arm has its own combat ability. Legion arm can be modified into all sorts of forms. Modifications can be made using... The Vanini, Vanini Crafts machine. Nice. Wonder what's in there. Sophia or Melina? This this person's name said Eugenie. <sighs> Sound of it alone. That craftsmanship comes only from the hands of Geppetto. Like her voice acting is not bad. Must be something else. 
A custom arm from Geppetto himself is quite an accessory. Oh, it's not bad at all. It's pretty good. I believe it. And the Sophia's voice acting is not bad too. What about this guy? Welcome to Hotel Crop. My name is Polandina, butler to Lady Antonia. Lady Antonia. Please let me know how I may be of service. At Hotel Crot. Oh, it's the Scorpion. Nice. They get over here. Hand in hand. <laughs> Welcome to Hotel Crot. How may I be of service? The Grand Covenant is a set of absolute commands imprinted on puppets when they are made. First law. All puppets must obey their creator's commands. Second law. A puppet may not harm humans. Third law. A puppet protects and serves humans. Just thinking and of really funny things. Crot. Fourth law. Puppets like a puppet. What would you lie. like for dinner? I'm I so stabbing. Was engraved upon every Beats puppet. you with like a whisk or something. Do you require anything else? It's like the eggs are the, not the only thing that are being beaten today. Boom! This robot takes out everybody. <laughs> Melina from Elden Ring versus Sophia Liza P. Oh, you're saying like the voice acting versus the other games. Yeah, uh, no, Melina's voice acting is better, definitely. For sure. The, the budget was probably bigger for that, though. Absolute commands it was most definitely bigger. When they are made. First law, second, third law, fourth. I that. told you. The grand welcome to hotel. What else we got? Purchase? Fable Catalyst, Legion Magazine, Sawtooth Wheel. Activates a Legion Arm's specific ability. It can be implanted in a Legion's Arm to charge rapidly. Polymer bullets that are used in Legion Arms were developed in collaboration with Vanini Works. These bullets undergo a chemical reaction inside the Legion Arm and turn into different substances like fire, electricity, or acid. Cool. That's really cool. I like that. Geppetto is Margit and Margoli's voice actor. Mar oh, Margaret and Morgoth's actor. He is? Okay, that's cool. Vanini's Krat Landmark Guide. Hotel Krat is one of the city's creepiest and most mysterious buildings, according to lore. Hotel Kraton is an isolated castle built by an aristocrat devoted to a form of occultism after receiving a revelation from the Radiant Tree. At one point, it was used as a mental institution, and some patients said that they saw hallucinations. However, no records remain. They were all destroyed in a large fire. Above all, being so far underground just compounds the rumors. Some said that it is connected to an unknown hell. Oh man, we got the twist. Everything's always underground. That's weird, dude. In like horror movies and everything, it all just it changes once you go underground. Like, just prove me wrong. Go underground in a horror movie and tell me there's not weird stuff. But now the rumors have served to embellish the charm of Hotel Krat, which has been renovated in the latest style, as the recent rumors of the Grand Exhibition Ghosts Hotel spread. Ghosts of the Grand Exhibition, damn. More customers are actually looking to stay at the hotel. Uh... So Hale, So Helson, So Helson. I think that's how you say that. Thank you for the prime sub. I appreciate that. Welcome. We got next is a comment from the hotel owner, Miss Antonia. A ghost hotel. I've heard that more times than I can remember. But fortunately, our hotel guests are brave like lions. <laughs> what? It's not a problem at all. Why would wait? What? That's a weird thing to say. Rating four to five. Creepy and mystical. Best resort in crap. Reporter Medoro. This guide was made with the support of Vanini Company, a friend of the city. <sighs> Corruption, dude. They're fabricating the... the they're, they're telling lies, dude. The people are scared. She's like, nah, they're fine. They're just getting murdered by ghosts, dude. And there's like underground conspiracies and stuff. It's all good. No big deal. Unexpected guests are welcome. We don't insist on reservations. I am Antonia. And this is my hotel. Welcome. It's got the Welcome. queen wave. I knew from the moment I... we met the George Geppetto's puppet. He did have a few loose screws, but Geppetto's skills are undiminished. It's a shame. 
He took off for Elysian Boulevard. And he never came back. She said ghosts, skill issue. <laughs> we'll have to make a new coffin. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I forgot. I was keeping this for him. That's she, she said coffin it and then she started coughing. A long story. But I think it's better off with you. Please find that old man. And do take care of yourself out there. Someone's memory and show off closed gesture. Is the memory an actual piece of armor? It is, oh nice. This uniform of a sophisticated and dignified boarding school. Uh, these clothes have been worn before. The uniform of a boarding school famous in Krat. The initial M is engraved on an elegant brooch. Oh yeah. Back in black. Dan. Dan in it. Dan in it. Do 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 do. <laughs> Definitely better. I, I don't I don't see any bonuses on the actual game window, but I will say like all black does give you the plus five speed bonus. They don't see it coming in the nighttime. Never knew uh, Gemini was the colloquial from form of Gemini or Gemini, sorry. Gemini and Gem. Gem Jiminy and Gemini. It's very close. That's a really creepy statue, dude. I don't like that. That's not necessary. There's another one, too. You need Rosa. Wait, what does that, what does that say? Rosa Isabel. Street entrance key. Yeah, the only thing I can complain about so far, genuinely, like for what the game actually is, is that some of the messages disappear too quickly. Others are completely fine, but some of the interactions are really quick. You go down here already? Okay. Luckily, cl uh, clothes are just cosmetic. They don't affect weight. That's pretty cool. I like that. Oh, you can skid. I do suicides on the tour bus. At the Rick Ross playing. The skid in this game is a little bit quicker, though. You don't actually get stuck as long as in Dark Souls. So we can go this way, or we can go the other way. Who's this guy? Oh, that's to test damage without actually getting punched in the face. Okay. Maybe not. <laughs> See, these are less creepy statues. Why do they have to have like little babies holding candles? They're all wrinkly and weird. Not even cool babies. You can watch all tutorial in the menu somewhere. Oh, really? You're looking forward to me playing Liza P. Glad to catch the stream. Rosie, I'm glad you're here. I'm, I'm glad you could catch it. This is the very first day. We've been playing it for an hour, roughly, just a little, just over an hour. Live for like an hour 25. Are you still using the standing desk? I am, but I've been sitting a lot more at the standing desk because when I was standing a lot, it was actually still giving me some problems. Because go figure, if you stand a lot and you sit a lot, it's like the same thing, but like... It's it's good it's good to get up and stretch and walk around, but if you're not moving while you're standing, it's still problematic. So I was getting tired of going back and forth. And I already get I get like a decent amount of steps in and stuff like that. I get cardio, I get strength training in, do a lot of activities. Um so I feel like I'm good enough to not need to stand all the time at the desk. But it's a good bonus just in case I need to. For whatever reason. But yeah, I don't do it nearly as much anymore. It's just really cool though, because like if there's different things that I'm doing. I can still adjust the height even when I'm sitting, so I can immediately just, if the camera needs to be adjusted but I don't want to grab it, I can push a button. If the chair doesn't fit under properly or maybe I need like the armrest higher or whatever, I can clear the armrest at different heights um, and get closer to it so I can actually like do something on top of the desk. There's a lot of different bonuses outside of standing. 
but I also I'm, I'm not really streaming as many hours as I was when I first got it too. The Black Rabbit Brotherhood. When I write videos, I just I could write them outside of this room. I have another computer. My name is Gemini. We'll talk take breaks and all that. Right. Repaired that stargazer. You mostly sit, then lift and walk each day. Much better for you, too. Yeah, it's like if if you get restless, though, there is the option. You can stretch. Um, one thing that I like to do anyways is just when I take a break, I'll, I, I won't sit down when I take a break for, for long. Even if I have to for a second, I'll just still walk around and stretch and do all that anyways. But I will say if you're streaming a lot of hours, it is a good idea. You don't want to be sitting for too, too long. Star Fragment cross dimensions to grant human wishes. Interesting. Would that be unusable items? Special materials. Uh, if you wish for it desperately enough, they may be able to summon someone who wants to help save the world. Is that co-op or is that just NPCs? It can be used at the cracks calling in front of the boss arena to summon a specter. NPC summon, okay. Lame. Cheater. Noob. No, I'm joking. Like in the game so far, Jill? This game's really cool so far. We haven't really seen too much of it yet, though, so I, I don't have like a full impression. But from what I've seen, it's pretty cool. I like the theme a lot. I really like Bioshock and I really like Bloodborne. And then someone was saying it's kind of like Dishonored as well. I get like a huge combination of Bioshock and Bloodborne from this so far. But I like it's not necessarily like so similar to either one that it's copying them. It's actually just the same genre as Souls with that type of uh, blend of things going on. The story seems like it's pretty original as well, so. There's like little bits of information you can get. You can get a lot more information right away than in the Souls games just from the notes. And the NPCs are given some good information that's not as cryptic. But the uh, the level design seems cool. Flows pretty well. I just don't know exactly if like we're still technically in a tutorial by where we're at right now. Because it, it, it seems like it would open up a lot and get like pretty difficult to know where to go eventually. But I might be wrong. Maybe it's just like more linear. Story's more coherent. Okay, wait. I was gonna try to backstab. I can't do that. Boom. See ya. In the face. Sharpen the sword. Yes. That's a good point. Elysian Boulevard was a regular rich people row. You wanted fancy boutiques and shops. <laughs> No place better. That thing I was but mentioned about the running at the beginning has already kind of faded for me. Like, it's there. I don't notice it that much. I was saying before for anyone that popped in after we started that you seem to, like, it's like it, the sensation of float, like, skating on ice a little bit when you turn and you run. You don't get this uh, idea that the character's actually grounded to the floor properly. It's like there's a layer in between that he's sliding on. But after playing for a while, it, it's not like distracting enough to ruin the game player. It's not like inaccurate or anything. It's the only weird thing with just the, the movement. The mechanics in terms of like actually hitting enemies and the conf confirmation of that, the sounds, they're all good. Um, again, the deflex are cool too. Perfect parry. Regular blocking seems decent with that mechanic for the uh, the other bar. Dodging is, is pretty accurate on the boss as well. Character talks? I think so. Pretty sure. Have you tried the arm yet? No, I haven't tried the arm. You're right. It's the grapple. Oh, how far does it work from, though? Ooh. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Nice. That definitely is the scorpion attack. Haven't I played the demo, Cyber? No, I never played the demo for this. The Leda F-150 frame. Is 
So we get uh, more physical damage reduction. And then the, what's the weight on this one? 5.8, this one was like 7.6. Is there a heavy roll in this? Oh, wait. I, don't, I can't tell if that's actually slower or not. Who is P and why does he lie? That's a good question. I actually thought for a while that P was this character. I, again, I'm still figuring stuff out. <laughs> P is for Pinocchio. Everything you do is slower if you're heavier. Oh, like every single action. That's a cool way to balance it. It's like really weird walking through this, feeling kind of like it's a Souls game, but then seeing neon signs or like lights and all that. But then you also don't have, it's like a weird kind of, it's like a semi dystopian still, right? It's not like it's futuristic either. It's like old timey and also more futuristic than Bloodborne, but then some similar aesthetic to it. Uh, UX, thank you for the prime sub. I appreciate that. Welcome. Also, let me know if I pronounce anybody's name wrong that's been on any of the alerts. Just tell me how you want your name pronounced, because I I don't know sometimes. Some of the names are just like... They're, they're interesting. And for all I know, your name could be Michael, and you're like, it's actually Jonathan. And I'm just like, well, that doesn't make any sense. And you're just like, well, it's 2023. Get real, bro. I feel offended, bro. I'm going to go on Twitter and write about you, bro. You're canceled, bro. And I'm just like, okay, Jonathan, spelled like Michael. <laughs> it's all good. Oh, that's a that's a big boy. Uh, that was one of the oh, ooh, oh, he's gonna f <laughs> take some fall damage there. <laughs> See ya. Are you even a squid? Maybe. It'd be funny if you actually figured out that everyone was a squid, and we were actually just squid people that evolved over time, and the monkey thing, the Darwinian theory, was not actually true. We, we evolved from jellyfish. And cephalopods. Octopi. I don't know. You identify as a weenie? Is it like a... Like a sausage? Or like a hot dog? Oh, God. What kind of flavor? Oh, that's not the heal! Those are really strong. Oh, we're getting the throwing cells as a pickup. That's pretty cool. Why is the P time? Hope you enjoy it. Fresh, it's it's cool so far. It does seem more linear though. I will say that. Like you guys can tell me if I'm I'm wrong, but it doesn't seem like as open as Central Yarn would be in Bloodborne when you start. Oh shit! I'm dead. I held the button. Definitely more linear. Okay. There's definitely there's nothing wrong with that at all, especially if the story is more upfront. Like you don't have to dig for it. Your name is pronounced Cold Skin. <laughs> Underdeveloped mind players. What happens if you choose to lie instead of dying? Uh, I don't think is that even a choice. I don't. I didn't see that as an option. We had a choice already to get into the hotel, though. So I'm, I'm assuming if I didn't do the right one, I could still continue, but something else would happen. I don't know if that was required. It'd be kind of lame if, like, you actually had to pick certain options and there's no other way to progress. It seems like they give you two choices and different things happen. Off to lift. Definitely going to watch this playthrough. Double lime. I hope you have a good rest of your uh, day. Have a good workout as well. And, yeah, I'll be continuing this pretty, pretty frequently until we beat it. I don't think we're going to take a break from it. We're just going to go and play until we beat it. The choices do have an effect, okay. So there's not like a wrong choice.
attribute resistance ample. Temporarily increases attribute resistance. Okay. Can get locked into side quests. Oh, there's actually side quests. So there is some level of stuff that deviates from the main game. That's cool. Oh, there's a kickdown ladder, I think. There. And then I'm assuming we went in a circle because the, yeah, the thing was right there. So I was supposed to get a shortcut when we were up there, and I maybe I missed it. Of the DS1 run go, how did it? How long did it take? Uh, it was 17 hours. <laughs> On the on the clock this is quite a bit, but it's not too bad. I mean, a run like that for like a regular person that's not as into the game, like it would it would take you weeks probably. So I'm really happy we got it in three days. I remember when I did it before; it literally took me over a week. It was it was a long time. Like just Calamite was two whole days, maybe like about a day and a half to two whole days, and I felt like I got really lucky on it. Your theory is that this game will turn into an HBO Max film for Timothy Chalamet as the lead role. It's so funny, dude. As soon as I looked at the main character, I was thinking of him too. I was like, is this like the prequel to, to Dune before they uh, before they become the, uh, the space people? Like, what's going on here? I want to go outside and jog around like this. I feel like he looks like he's going faster than he actually is. Like that's a running animation for a jog, I'm just telling you. Right now, that's that's like a That's a hustle, dude. That's after you've already ran and you're trying to cool down, but you still have like the sway of a runner. And you you're, you're trying to get the form back to casual, but you qu can't quite bridge the gap there. I went backwards. I did, you're right. I did go backwards. He has infected the Zeitgeist subconscious. His acting is pretty damn good. Apparently, uh, he's going to be in the Willy Wonka movie. I don't even know how that's going to go. Lars, what's up, dude? How have you been? Have you played this before? Why are the automatons so upset? That's a good question, actually. I mean, they do seem to have enough things here like are those potatoes dude they got potatoes I think that's pretty good not that they really need to eat but I mean that's cool though they got light bulbs potatoes carriages ho fancy hotels spotlights small businesses cafes they got coffee come on what's over here too they got they got flowers looks like there's some some booze in there too and there's bread <laughs> What could they possibly want, dude? These robots. Never happy. Potatoes are always good. You're not biased towards it. I think you think he'll make a solid Wonka? He has that quirk. Should be a good production if it meets standards. I'd probably go and watch it. I watched the original Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. But I can already see they're just, like it's funny because nowadays whenever a movie comes out there's just always people backlashing for almost everything like it has to be such a like a play it safe kind of thing for it to not be black backlash so I wonder what what people will say it's like oh you couldn't possibly make Willy Wonka that character it's not the same it's either like not not original to the material or someone's offended yeah, the original super wild. There's so many movies that are amazing that you could not make these days. It's, it would be impossible. They wouldn't be allowed to make them. That didn't work. That didn't work. That didn't work either. Okay, I'm getting the mask kicked. 
are they're already offended because the Oompa Loompa isn't played by a real dwarf? Wow. <laughs> Dude, that's insane. Well, wasn't there was like a, a voice actor? Uh, I don't know if it was more than one, but like someone from The Simpsons, the dude that plays uh, Carl, got fired because he didn't actually look like the character or something like that. And then they replaced him, and then the new voice actor doesn't sound as close to the character. So it's just like, what are we doing? What is going on? The guy who played a poo? I, I know about that one. I thought also Carl got replaced as well. How do you even look like a Simpsons character? Well, I guess like they just meant like the background, like the cultural background, the the ethnicity, whatever. The the complexion has to be matching, or you're you're just you're offensive. You can't do a voice of something that has like you can't do an accent if you're not born with the accent, or you don't develop it from living somewhere like that. Actually, that's a gray area. If you if you weren't born in the place that has the accent, but you move there, then you get it. That still doesn't count. You're still not a real person. <laughs> Kind of weird as there's so many British actors playing Americans. Yeah, exactly. But the thing is that that's the weird line to be drawn. It's like, so why is that different? But there's like this weird understanding that like, I guess somehow the British accent's not the same. Like there's different categories of accents, even though they're all actually just the same thing. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. called acting exactly yeah voice acting I, I think it's really impressive that the person did the voice so well that it actually held up as a character for that long too right because like if you think of those characters like you you can even hear it in your head it's like iconic and then they'll replace the people and it won't be as good or they're taking like a little bit of a risk sometimes it's fine but it doesn't always do as good of a job okay i need the kick down ladder which is right here. Wow, that's really cool. There's like a mechanism for it. They're being seen as colonial whites, so it's not like taking advantage of people in the same way or something. Exactly. Which is still, I don't know, it gets to the point where there's so many rules that the rules eventually have to like be paradoxical to a degree if you keep going further and then they can't even make sense anymore. Oh. 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 oh, that's that's brutal, dude. Okay, the guy that fell off last time is kicking my ass now. He's really fast, too. the lantern. Okay, well, at least we got the shortcut, so I'm gonna actually just go from here. And we'll, we'll hit the checkpoint and go back down. Make him fall again. I don't know if it would matter too much. Maybe, wait, will he chase me off of here? I think so. Pairing is really strong in this game. It's not it's not as hard as it was when I first started playing, but people were like, oh, it's easy, or it's easier than Sekiro. I think it's, I don't know, the frames don't seem like the same. It's either that or I just, I really don't know the attacks. But even on the test dummy doing the same one, it just felt like a really tight window. Uh, if it was Lenny having a voice actor with deep complexion instead of Carl having the voice actor with a light complexion, no one would have minded. That's where the line is and we know it. Th yeah, there's like definitely some group of people that would agree with what you just said, um, or vice versa. It would be like a divide based on some weird some weird rules, for sure. A lot of people were saying it's harder than Sekiro. There was a couple of people saying it was easier. 
And then there's some people saying it was harder as well. But then um, there's also the, the discussion of do you have to hold the button to make it easier? And you can tap it and it doesn't seem like there's a difference. But then some of you guys said holding it was easier for you. Wait, where is this? I like the ladder slide down, that's cool. Also, uh, Kario, how are you doing? You found it harder than Sekiro? Yeah. Because, like, some of the timings I know for a fact, just because uh, of that one run we did on Sekiro where everything had to be deflected, it, it would have seemed a little early, but still worked. Like, there's a little bit of variability. Otherwise, I don't think I would have been able to do that Sekiro run. It would be too hard. I would say if I had to name the amount of frames, it would be, like, maybe uh, between 10 and 12 on Sekiro. Probably even more. On this one, it would feel like it's a few less. Oh, he's still alive. I'm going to grapple the dog. also block and restore life with attacks yeah the, the blocking thing I haven't used that too much yet I, I blocked a few things but I wasn't really attacking quick enough right after let's try it right here does it give you more though it does give you okay it's like a little bit more than what was taken is there a point though where you can block and you can reduce all physical damage or is that just not a thing See, it almost seems like that's a way to farm health. I don't know if I'm just tripping out. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's only keeping it where it was. Like, it's just kind of at bay, so you get the health taken, and then it gives you the chance to get it all back instead of more. No, I don't, yeah, I was going to say, I don't think it is more than you lose. I might be just imagining that. So that took us through there. Got to go to the other side of this part. I know that like there's the one close that we kicked down, but where's the other one? Right here, okay, there we go. Uh, you can if you look at your weapon stats, guard regain is different for other weapons. Oh, okay, cool. P organ can make or break the experience later. Your bearded friend recommended to block and then heal from attacking back. It seem, Yeah, it seems like something that's safer than trying to dodge and then not knowing the moveset right away. So on this, like, big dude up here, that would have been a good idea. I just forgot that the health gain back was actually a thing, not something else. So, like, I'd want to do that on this. I gotta attack twice to get the amount of health back. Okay, okay, or or maybe just don't kill me. See, I need, to do, I need to do that more often. Get get enough parries, get that bar flashing, and then just do the, the heavy combo. Boring Cell, Dim Ergo, and Star Fragment. How far am I into the game right now, Division? I don't know in terms of actual progress, because we've been just kind of taking it slow, reading everything, talking to everybody. 
Uh, but I've been playing for an hour and 40-ish minutes. Evil will always denigrate art. Oh. Let strength be granted I'm not sure what you mean so by that. World might be mended. So the world like, might is that a thing with the game? Smile. Uh, to Vision, thank you for the 56 months as well, dude. Uh, evil will always triumph because good is dumb. Interesting. I'm gonna remember that. <laughs> I'm gonna take that with me. <laughs> oh, it's a quote from Spaceballs. I haven't seen Spaceballs before. I heard it was a pretty good movie. Good is dumb doesn't seem applicable to plot armor, though. Plot armor always wins, so technically, like, evil seems likely, but then never can win because it's rigged in, in fantasy. In real life, it's like, it's a toss-up. It could be either way. Depends. But no one actually has plot armor, though, unfortunately. Oh, gotta block that. Yep. Have a taste of the Y button, bro. Three in a row. Rapid camera movement to supplement for teabagging. Okay. It'd be really funny if, like, in a multiplayer game, someone knew you were you were just like rotating your camera, like they just saw. I guess they'd have to like spectate you or something. But it'd be funny if, like, if you did this, their screen would start shaking. <laughs> That'd be the ultimate bad manners. Oh wait, did I I didn't break the weapon, did I? Oh, it's still good. I didn't fully break it. Okay, one other criticism, the text they used for that, the actual font is not that good. The retrieval. I like the I like the retrieved idea, but the font is not the right font. It should match the the title. It looks kind of weird. Very, very minor critique that means nothing, but still. <laughs> Alright, we're doing the items only playthrough right now. Krungo font? Is that what it's called? Krungo? I gotta use the uh, like the attack out of dodge as well because it has a little bit of like a reach to it. Your notifications stuck, Green Mist. So the thing with notifications on this website, they're not super accurate. What I do is I recommend people to join the Discord. If you type in exclamation point Discord, it'll give you alerts that are accurate every single time I actually go live. Without fail, there's a bot that automates it. And then on Twitter, or I guess X if you want to call it X, um, if you follow me on there and then you favorite the page, You'll get push notifications for when I post ahead of time of when I go live, and I usually, I'll, I'll tell people like maybe at least half an hour before or so, maybe 20 minutes before, sometimes even earlier in the day. But um, both of those combined are better than the alerts from this website. So I would just join the Discord and then uh, check out the X page. And I, you might not even actually have to have an account to see the posts if you don't want to actually use it or have a newsfeed or whatever notifications. But if you actually want the notifications immediately or ahead then uh, I think you can actually like start or favorite it and it'll it'll push it to your device like the discord one alone is pretty accurate for when we actually start though I think it's only disconnected one time before but every other day in general it's been fine like I've heard people here say they've gotten alerts the next day or not at all and then um, if you if you if I look on my dashboard, the percentage of alerts that actually go to people that are actively using accounts that follow me, it's such a small percent that it's ridiculous. It doesn't even make any sense. Oh, I, I dude, I can get the sneak. You can backstab. Someone might have said that and I, I just didn't catch it when I was talking about that, but that's cool. You don't have to sneak all the time. Need a video editor, but what about an artist? Is the place still take invade him? Uh, I have uh, people for art, yeah. And also, I don't even need any art made right now anyways, but I do appreciate the uh, the offer. If you want to ever send me a portfolio for that stuff, anyone's welcome to send me anything. 
And then in, in the time where I do need it, I would try somebody else out just because their portfolio is interesting. Just to mix it up. Uh, or maybe you specialize in something I haven't really gotten made before. Just at the moment, there's definitely no art plan that I that I need for anything. Actuarial consulting? What does that mean? Oh, sh dude, electric shock status? Oh, what the fuck? The ambush! Oh, th there's another guy in front of me, isn't there? Dude, there's fucking ten of- oh my god. I knew there was something up with the rooftop, dude. I was like, we're, we're, we're not we're not chilling right now. We're, we're definitely supposed to be stressing out about this part. <laughs> Need your house painted? I can do that. <laughs> yeah, you just have to fly around the planet, just fly around the globe to, to come do some painting and then spend all the money on the travel anyways. Be at a net loss. Oh, risk assessment. I see. I think I'm good for risk assessment. Everybody do do anything. If I go with scroll suit diving off of uh, like base jumps and canyons, then you might actually be hired. Just to convince me, it's a bad idea. You never know. <laughs> I, I see how you hook people in with your with your services. It's like you, you never know though. What if? It's like, you know what? That is true. What if? It's like, exactly, and then it, it, what if, it's like, then what? It's like, then what? You're right, like, what does that mean? It's like, we don't know, that's why we have to do that. <laughs> it's like, if you knew everything, then you'd be fine, but now, but now you need my services, because you're not sure. Let's make them confused, dude. <laughs> like, when's the last time you checked your, uh... <laughs> light, light distribution, uh, hypothermal, uh, center of transfusion flux, uh, LG1 regulator? It's like, uh... Where's that? It's like, oh, it's inside the capacitor that you might have not even known was uh, built into your your home unit of uh, central organization module. It's like, oh, oh shit. You know, I should check that. It's like you go door to door. How much will that be? It's like, oh, it's it's free for the first one. But what I want you to do is recommend somebody else, and then you'll get a little bit of a rebate based on their deal. It's like they get charged a hundred bucks, and then you go back and give them ten dollars. Just piggyback every single deal. But meanwhile, while they're in the house, like, you just realize, like, half your belongings are gone. It's like, wasn't free in the first place. Okay, let's, let's get back over where we were. Act actuarial pyramid scheme turned robbery. <laughs> Actually, here's something really weird. Uh, I have a friend, and there was uh, people that had to come by to fix a window. And the, the guy that owned the company told him that uh, he's like... They, they went to send somebody for a quote and they saw that he had a lot of cool shit and so they said oh my guys said you had a lot of cool stuff he's like they don't steal but just in case you might want to put it away and I was like could that not be the worst possible introduction for your business that ever existed it's like you're like oh yeah we saw you have really expensive things but like they don't steal but just in case though like it's like what does that even mean why would you even say that? Like, even if that was true, that doesn't even make any sense, right? It's like if you're even joking, now you have less likelihood that they're gonna actually recommend your services. That's super good advertising, yeah. Must have happened before. That's what I mean. Like, <laughs> either way, even if they're just joking, it's such a, such a bad thing to say. Like, you probably wouldn't want to mention that, that it happened before. You'd want to make sure it just doesn't happen again and don't say anything. I think we got the backstabs unlocked now. Let's strength be ground so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Hey, glad to see you doing this game. It was really good for. It was really good for? Good good for what? Darth, you can't leave me on a cliffhanger with the reset, man. Thank you for the 47 months, though. I appreciate that. <laughs> it's like, so the other day I was going to say that, uh... <laughs> oh, good for not being soft? Oh, from soft, yes. It is. 
Okay, so Jory was saying that uh, Miyazaki was overseeing the project somehow. I don't know if that's actually true, or if that was a joke. Like they got his input or something? I don't know. Anyone, anyone that knows that's not true, you can tell me. What is what level is this? Optimus Primal Legendary Theo Arcadian Ultra Godly. <laughs> that's gonna be the name of my first child. When they get their ID, it's not even gonna fit. It's just gonna be Optimus Primal Ledge. Oh, you were actually kidding? That's not a funny joke though. That's that got me excited for a second. It's like a placebo effect. Like, even if the game's exactly the same and I've already seen everything, if you told me a Miyazaki oversaw it, it would make it 10% better. It would get a better rating automatically. Because they were they were smart to ask his opinion, right? It's like if Miyazaki made Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 2 would be better even if nothing was different, just because like the psychology. It doesn't have to even make sense. I think I fell into a trap here. Oh, we got a big boy again. <laughs> Strutting. Oh, not over here. Oh, it's like the guys with the bricks in Bloodborne, kind of. He's got the headbutt, too. Yeah, that's actually pretty similar. Yep, then the jump. That's literally the moveset, dude. He, he, they copied it. Which I'm not even complaining about. That's okay. Yeah, he does look a little scarier. Although, something about the automatons, though, like, in real life, if you had bloodborne creatures versus robots, the robots would be a little less scary, in my opinion concept, right? It's like, oh yeah, you could just build that, but then like an actual Goonies looking guy that like it, it hits you with a brick to death, that's pretty scary. He's just like, I love you, Chalk, and then he just like literally beats him with the brick. It's like a hunchback like ogre guy. That'd be terrifying. I guess it depends on how integrated androids are into society at that point. Stagger, there we go. Legion magazine, dim ergo fragment, and star fragment. So with the magazine, if I were to use that, how would that work? Because it goes in the arm, right? Am I just using that as a consumable? Or is that is that actually a depleting resource? Everything is copied, but they did it well. Yeah, that's I, I have no problem with that because Bloodborne's really good. Hey, when are you gonna play Liza P, Mozorn? I don't know. I, I might try it tomorrow. We'll see. <laughs> Life amulet. Oh yeah, it goes on the amulet slot, okay. Increases max HP, nice. Slightest blink is enough to make a puppet move. Puppets do not have a life, but it is enough to move them. Weird. How much health increase? The show? Character info? It's two pages. How do I change the, the page? Oh, there we go. 405. 379, 405. It's not bad. So it's like 26. Oh, 
I wonder if that's going to actually save me. If you run out of arm uses, the caliber will fill it. Oh, it's a refill for the ability of the arm. Okay, I see. That makes sense. I was reading it and I thought it did something else. Like it was another function of it aside from the grapple or for another whole arm that does something else like the shoot stuff. It's not the grapple. Teleport to another stargazer. Okay. You can transfer from one stargazer to another and only travel to those you've activated. Yeah, so far the theme is pretty consistent too. I wonder if it's actually going to like take a turn or it's just going to be this theme the whole time. I also wonder if you're going to fight humans as well. That'd be really interesting. Switch Legion arm. So we got the basic one and then we got this. That one's just like the punching one, so there's probably not a reason to use it. I'm Jiminy, your friendly puppet guide. Or friendly guide puppet? I don't know, one of those. I'm also a friend of Sophia's. Last time I woke up, Sophia was there because... Because she woke me up. But I'm sure there are still other memories in there. Sorry. Must be the shock. Bear with me, and I'll do my best to guide you. Cool. Uh... Tana Dane? What's up? How's it going? Who mans? What is who mans? That sounds like one of those, uh... Things where it's like Ligma. It's like, what do, what do you mean? Ligma balls. I don't know if that's actually like a setup to, to, to for a joke or something. It might not be, but... Why, hello! Who man sounds like something. I didn't know anyone or was alive out here. Dees. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, Dees. but I'm not a burglar. Oh, this, <laughs> the stream title. I'm just in an abandoned house for a while. Don't worry. Oh, wait, sorry. No, you're just saying that. So, okay, that's, that's unrelated. We Never survivors mind. need to look out for each other. <laughs> uh, for your information. Oh, ask if I, I was going to fight this. humans, and you asked who mans. I see, I see. Damn. You got me. I thought you were setting me up. Mayu, thank you so much for the raid. What's going on? What were you playing today? They got some lizards that breathe fire in this. Ooh, that's pretty cool. That's a spoiler that's okay, because I, I I like to know that Let's there's diversity. Like, if there's a twist in this that's really cool, that instantly makes it better, because I love, so I love like, uh, even thriller mended. movies where you watch it, and then the whole time you're, like, getting hoodwinked, and then you, at the end you're like, what? Even if it's kind of a bad ending sometimes, just because I like the... Like, they just give you information as you go, and then you're starting to realize, oh, this is definitely not the same thing. So we have some more items from this guy. The Attribute Resistance Ampule, which I already have one of, I believe. Uh, Legion Magazine I already have. Throwing Cells. Electric Blitz Canister. Can be thrown at close range. Creates a pool of electric blitz where it lands. I definitely want that, but it says I have three. So I think I picked those up. Gemini's Iron Protection. Protects Ergo even in death. Ooh, that's cool. And that's a consumable that's pretty cheap. We got Electric Coil Stickhead. Yes, I'm going to get that. And yeah, everything else. We pretty much have everything. Mayu dabbed on stream. Really? Is there a clip? Can I watch it? That'd be the least I could do. If, if there's a clip, I'll watch it. Uh, Nebulous, thank you for the raid as well. How's it going? How was your stream? What are some of my favorite movies? Favorite movies as of recent? I really liked Avatar 2. Uh, I really liked Dune as well, which apparently this guy's the main character, according to the, the looks here. <laughs> we, we got Timothy Chalamet in the, uh, in the robot arm. And then, um, yeah, Dune, Avatar, I like, uh, I like... Movies like Inception quite a bit. There's a cool one. Like Snowpiercer, those types of movies. Platform. Uh, what else? The Foreigner was a really cool one. I like that movie a lot. Um, Equalizer, I still have to go see. I've seen the first two. I like those ones. I like the James Bond movies. Uh, I like almost everything, dude. There's not The only movies I don't like that much are romantic comedies. And then comedy in general nowadays isn't that funny anymore. I feel like comedy movies have hit a ceiling. So I don't watch comedy at all anymore, really. 
It's very rare. It has to be like a unique one. Uh, and then biopics, like things that are based on real stuff is cool. Uh, the Prestige is one of my favorite movies. I love The Prestige. It's a great one. Um, yeah, I don't know. So like a lot of very common movies a lot of people like, and then some weird ones. And then I love horror movies too. So I was talking about before, I like uh, Evil Dead 2013, uh, Wreck and Wreck 2, Antichrist, Martyrs, um, Devil's Rejects, stuff like that. Prestige is awesome. It's such a cool movie, dude. I, I've watched that movie probably like 12 times. <laughs> like, it's almost one of those ones I could watch once a year. He's going to beat the game now and never see any dragons and be disappointed. Oh, there was a clip. Dabs on the haters. Let me watch this after I kill the guy. Yeah, I think like my favorite type of movie though still is like I said the ones with the twist. So like Snowpiercer type movies are in a in a scarcity. There's not that many of them that are that good, but that is my favorite type of format for a movie in general. And they haven't made uh, much that's much better than the original Snowpiercer. All right, I'm gonna watch this right now. Uh, how do I do this? Oh, I put it full screen. Okay. I know how to pr professionally do professional things. Window capture. Dab on the haters. Oh, you're playing this game too? Why is it not showing up? What? Oh no. It's not working. My window captures now. Oh wait, it's because it's too big. That's why. Here we go. Wow, thanks for coming to my stream and then like getting people to like just spam and chat you dabbed and then get my interest to just hold up everything. Like you've ruined my life completely. This is this is like just not okay for professionalism. Oh my God. It's in slow motion. I didn't know you talked that slow. <laughs> The left and then bend your left arm into your face and you're sneezing. Okay. <laughs> I like the skeleton. <laughs> oh, that's with the oh sneeze, too. <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> oh my god. That was kind of anime. The left and then bend your left arm into your face and you're sneezing. Okay. <laughs> I literally, okay, every time I sneeze now, I sneeze into my elbow normally. Because of just like COVID, definitely program that. I never used to do that. I would just go and sneeze on people. <laughs> but, dude, I need to like do the dab sneeze now. That's actually really funny. <laughs> Did I like Shutter Island? I really like Shutter Island. I like Interstellar, Inception, all that stuff. I'm trying to think of like anything else that's on that level. Prisoners? Uh, sounds familiar. I'm not sure if I've seen that, though. 2001 Space Odyssey? Apparently that's amazing. I remember seeing that in the video store when I was a kid, and it always had a really appealing case. Like, the actual box art was always really cool. And then uh, I, I did some research, and apparently it's a pretty cool movie. Donnie Darko? I have not seen that, but I've been told it's one of the best movies. Now you see me. Uh, I've seen both of those. There's two of them, right? Now you see me was a good movie, but it was like definitely so mainstream that it just like <sighs> they could have done the character development a bit better. But I feel like they were, it was just like cookie cutter kind of movie. Like you just kind of could predict the characters quite a bit. Maybe not the actual plot as much, but it'd be really cool if you had an attachment to the characters more than what they were. Kind of like the prestige where you start to actually get like the, there's like the, the question of morality and all that and like you get a long movie out of it and then you you feel drawn into the characters then they do all the cool magic stuff Machinist is good. That's the Christian Bale movie, right? I haven't seen that one either, but I know that for that role, he got like super, super 
malnourished, apparently. Like he said, I think he said he only ate apples and smoked cigarettes to to get to that roll. And that was also back to back with another one that was like an opposite transformation of some sort, or it was like he was a little heavier. Or I can't remember. I don't know if I don't know if he was like 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 muscular, and then he went into the machinist, or it was machinist into something where he had to be the opposite. Nocturnal animals and Nightcrawler. Haven't seen Nightcrawler. I heard that was pretty good. Got buff for Batman. That was the uh, the beginning one, right? We went in a circle again. Uh, Midsummer is one of my favorite movies. I love Midsummer. Uh, Hereditary was it was pretty good. I don't have a problem with it, but like I watched Midsummer three times. I think Hereditary I only watched once. Uh, that was like a very very good movie psychologically. I think maybe not that the actual subject was like crazy over the top but they, they made the the cinematography and the psychology of it like perfectly intertwined where it like just makes you feel super uncomfortable you can only stomach it once so that's like the introduction to the type of horror movies I was like obsessed with for a while I used to watch like really weird ones like ones that are banned and stuff like that so um, and like also like Human Centipede Part 2 originally was like the first most extreme one I saw, and that was, it had to be filmed in black and white because it was like too ridiculous for the color, apparently. And I know people probably seen the first one. First one's not really the same movie, but second one, like, I don't think it was even good, but it, like that kind of stuff. Midsummer is like a little, a, like a junior version of the, those kind of movies, in my opinion, but much more tastefully done. And yeah, like the acting was really good and all that. It was better acting, in my opinion. What's this game, Gandalf? This is Liza P. So it's it's inspired by Bloodborne, I'm pretty sure. Uh, you are a puppet, and you're fighting a bunch of automatons in this this. It's kind of like a Bioshock Bloodborne kind of world. It's interesting. Apostle. I think I might have heard of that. You guys were talking about it recently, but I think I'm, I might have seen advertising or heard of it previously. You want to watch Midsummer, but you want to watch the Wicker Man movies first. I haven't seen Wicker Man before. Yeah, Midsummer, I'd recommend if if you like horror a lot, if you can handle just uncomfortable situations, then sure. fell off the little, little walkie board there. Based on the book of Carlo Collodi. Oh yeah, they did say that at the beginning. That's true. Hereditary spooked you for weeks. <laughs> I, I know some people that watched it and they were like terrified to go to sleep. Yeah, it was, it was pretty damn good. Just, I like the story of Midsummer a bit more. Like the effect of it, I guess. You like horror, but you also jump super easy. So that that's like one thing where there's the jump scare horror, and it's like it doesn't have much to it. You don't really need to make it actually scary. You can just do the sudden, like use the audio and use the the, the jump cuts in the the film, the filming and all that, and the editing to artificially enhance it. But I think a really good horror movie has a blend of maybe like a little bit of that, like where it's actually necessary. And then atmosphere, character development, um, some sort of actual good storyline, and Wait, like the weird psychological topics and all that. Strange, jeepers! Is that a butterfly? Why is the ergo reacting like that? If you want to check it out, I can take point. Is it trying to show me where to go, or is it just? Hmm. We need to talk about Kevin is bad. I haven't heard about that. Oh, you can kill it. It's like the, the crystal lizards. Occasionally, a dimensional butterfly will appear in parts of Krat. Monad's lamp can detect the butterfly lighting up red to point out its location. The character is near the hiding butterfly. It'll appear. Kill it to get the materials. Okay, is it over here still? It's gone. 
I missed it. You like the quality of horror you're describing? There's few and far between. between. Exactly, yeah, and that's a genre as well, like where it gets overplayed. Like for example, the Nun, the Nun Two, Insidious movies, all those. Like they kind of get stretched out to the point where it's not necessarily even that cool anymore. But the original, I think the original Insidious was a cool movie. Um, and then there's uh, like like scream movies are kind of just silly. I, I I really like Halloween. Halloween is awesome. That's one of my favorites. Um, some of them weren't as good. I like the Rob Zombie Halloween quite a bit. Uh, and then like the newest one was really good. I don't know if it was also, was it him as well for the newest one? I don't know if he did two of them. I think he did one in like 2016 or something. Oh, we got another big boy. I haven't really seen much and most of them are bad. I can suggest some. If you just give me a whisper message, like I'll send you a list of all the ones we've been talking about lately, and you can choose for yourself. Just uh, give me a message and remind me, and I'll, I'll send them over. But yeah, there's there's so many, and there's so many different things, but it depends on what you're into. If you want like paranormal, if you want gory, like Saw movies kind of thing, if you want psychological, like thriller kind of types, a bit of both. Real things that really happen, like based on real stories. Tons of different stuff. Ooh. Okay, that didn't really work out. This guy's like the Black Knight of this game from the Undead Bird, because it's like much more health, movesets way harder than anything else we played so far, in my opinion. Oh, dude, what? What was that? The ending to Us was weird. The Jordan Peele movies are good, too. Us, I did like a lot. Um, nope, I didn't really care for that much. I was actually kind of disappointed by that one. And Candyman could have been good, but they took it in a direction that was kind of not what I would have preferred. I'm trying to think of what a get out was pretty decent. I didn't mind to get out, it was okay. Lost the horror element towards the end. Rob Zombie should do a movie about robbing zombies. <laughs> Maybe he can't he can't do it anymore because he would expose his secrets and that's why his name's Rob Zombie. He would he would he would actually have like uh all the all the crimes against zombies would be documented then. Quiet place? I like Quiet Place, that's a good one. Or Sinister. That's one was that the one with the lady crawling on the ceiling? It follows is very underrated. The art direction is confusing on purpose, makes you feel like you're in a dream. Ooh. That's cool. Oh, this is the room you fall into. Okay, now we're going this way then. Losing track of where we're progressing to. This way. Oh, is the butterfly gonna come back? Yes. Ah, uh, nice. Hidden moonstone. One guy's hanging from the building. Look at that. What's happening there? That's hilarious. I guess that's how you get ambushed? Wait, I want to throw something at him. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Howdy, nice nap. A nice nap again? Oh, that's good. Are you feeling better from the COVID? Are you enjoying the PP game? 
<laughs> what? The PP game. This game is good. I, I like it so far. Uh, I, I don't want to give too much of a, a review of it this early in it because it's just starting still, but like unless it's very, very short. So I would say it's so far so good. I'm definitely interested to see like the way the story progresses and how they do the next few boss fights because first one was like a typical tutorial. It was a cool design. Uh, and then I'm, we've used a little bit of the items and stuff. We haven't really used a lot of these different types of uh, hilts for the weapons, the, the handles. I bought this one too. I haven't used that yet. Let's see, can I switch this? I should try this weapon. Big club. Zodiac is crazy. I heard Zodiac is cool. Is that based on the Zodiac Killer? Warning, petrification disease, quarantine zone. Why do those disappear? No trespassers, everyone is a patient or a lunatic. No, do not speak to them. Wow. That's a fake, that's a fake shadow, dude. That's a cardboard cutout and then the, the, the Goonie guy is gonna come out of the window and kill me. 100%. They're not moving properly. Real shadows don't look like that. Oh, okay, maybe she's real. Never mind. This must be your first time in the petrification disease quarantine zone. For most people, this is their last stop. You are a good Samaritan for coming all the way here. I am one. May I ask you a favor? My family took my baby from me and sent me here. They said it was for my own good, but it was heartless just the same. A baby must be with its mother. Please go. Have to bring to the baby Clark back? City what? Hall and bring me my baby. I thought she was going to say something else. Like, get a belonging or something like that. Or maybe, like, try to convince them that she can come back. She wants me to bring a whole baby to her? What? We're delivering children now? What's going on? Thank you so much. If we actually pick I up a baby and run through the map and bring it back, that'd be insane. I finally see my sweet Elena's face again. Imagine delivering it through the window. You have to, like, put it down to fight. Like, that's crazy. Hard scales spreading Mario 64, like the penguin, eyes. yeah. Before I lose my sight, please. She said the baby was at City Hall. Should we check it out? This is a side quest. I hope everybody's safe. That's cool. I didn't actually see that the first time. I wonder if it's because I read the sign. Or maybe I just didn't get the dialogue right away when I walked through. But yeah, we already came down here and I didn't notice. Uh, Rosa, thank you so much for the Prime sub. I appreciate it. Rosa wrote a panther. The love of God by an electric weapon. Isn't this an electric weapon? It has lightning coming out of it. Or inside of it. I'm a little slow though. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, this weapon's a bit slower. 142. Let's see if we can switch this. Oh, I'm in a diamond. Die! Whoa, he didn't do anything. Why do the enemies not attack as aggressively when you're in the pause menu? I have yet to be hit in the pause menu. 136. That's a little quicker though. And then we're light again. I'm really bad at parrying this guy. Oh, that was weird. How did that work? Lucky. That's 109. That's not even as good of damage as a regular attack. Oh, 
19. Hold LB and parry with Y. LB and parry with Y. What does that do? Is that an another way to do it? Also, uh, CJ, what's up? How's it going? Does this game resemble more Dark Souls or Bloodborne? It's it's heavily inspired by Bloodborne. It has the same rolling when unlocked and then dashing when you are locked on. And then there's some interesting, interesting stuff with the weapons that they come apart and you can kind of change them up based on the hilt and the blade at the workshop and then you got an arm that shoots a grapple I should probably use that on the big guy but yeah I don't know it's it's like the same genre overall I think it was inspired by Bloodborne more so though Fable art depends on what handle you have in blade got back home from Wendy's and Leza what is Leza Try an electric tip on the rapier. Oh wait, I have another weapon slot I could do too. So the electric tip thing, I'm assuming that's not in the, the menu. I don't see it. But yeah, we can we can use both of these. I'm just a little bit slower now. Hmm. Also didn't level the stats that... Oh, wait, or maybe... No, no, someone was saying there's another stat for dexterity. Electric coil top and the rapier handle. Okay. So I don't think I have that. Your handle has the parry counterattack as a fable art. Okay, that's what you mean. Oh, there's a chest here. Thank you. Workshop Union Standard Insulation Converter. <sighs> that's pretty good. That's that's actually solid, dude. Fire like the reduction of some of these things is double. Oh, dude, like electric blitz damage reduction. It's almost like it's like two and a half times better. Like more than double for almost everything. Oh, but then I'm dead by electricity when I put it on. <laughs> you can assemble weapons. Yeah, I don't, I don't. Yeah, I don't think I have that yet. That was crazy. The irony of dying from the electricity. You just died like that too? Oh no. I hope you got the same item. That was worth it. I, I, will, I will trade the lost ergo, not retrieving it to the that enemy that was at the bottom of all this, or that item. Twitch chat, let streamer play a game and discover stuff on their own challenger. Or challenge difficulty level impossible. Yep. That is true. I was, I was talking about that before. I used to actually get kind of like pissed off about people spoiling certain things. Not like the things people are talking about right now, but just when like things were coming up and I was about to do them and I hadn't gotten access to stuff yet. Now I don't even care at all. I, I used to, I put sub only on for a lot of new games and people would literally pay five bucks and then they would just be like, yeah, so you could do this and that. Or you should go here and then you should also do that. And then why aren't you doing this? And then also this guy's going to be up next. You should probably use this for that. Oh my God. Where's the three combo? Okay. 
Let me try the grapple. It doesn't even do anything. Just a little bit of damage. And he's got a back punish. Dude, this is wild. Gotta get better at this enemy. I would run by him or just like try to kill him by being cheesy, but I feel like if I don't learn that later on, there's gonna be something even harder or similar, and it's probably good practice. It's kind of weird. Like he's not, he's not really like that fast, but it's just, I guess, getting used to the game still. It's like a combination of that, and then um, he hits pretty hard, and I don't do a lot of damage. Gave you such a hard time until you really got much better at the game, then it became pre pretty easy. How do you like it so far, Clue? I, I, I like this game. It's good. I'm really impressed because I didn't check out too much on it, so there's a lot of things that are much different than what I could have assumed they were like. I saw the trailer, and then I, I watched a little bit of Catalyst video reviewing the demo, but yeah, I never played the demo. Crap police baton head and baton handle. What are those? Oh yeah, the Moonstone, I didn't check that out yet. Upgrades normal weapon, blade to plus three. Ooh, that's cool. How do you use that? Oh, don't want, I don't wanna destroy it, that's not good. I guess I gotta go to one of the people in the hotel. Oh, it's a weapon, okay. That's interesting, the head is part of it. <laughs> Blunt damage. So this one is 111 plus 21, and then the bonus scaling. 94 plus 18, it's not as good. I probably should use the storage soon too, because I have two duplicate. I have duplicates of uh, this weapon right here. Jack, thank you for the, uh, the 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 good wishes, the well wishes. I appreciate it. You ever see someone grapple a dog? Probably not. Oh shit. There's enough variety of enemies though, I will say like, the movesets are pretty damn good so far. And they, they have the fluidity of... I want to say they almost have the fluidity of Sekiro in some cases. Not quite on the same level, but it's close enough. Like the fact that you could do the back-to-back -back parries. Also, someone was saying again, my, my ability, if I press Y while I'm actually holding block, it does that, right? And I, I already noticed that earlier, but I didn't know what it was originally. So that means I guess I can be a little bit more safe and still counter. Try that, try that next. Shortcut. There we go. Does that still build up the stagger?
read the handle, it's a good ability. Uh, slash I made in front of you, extra fate. How do I switch to the handle specifically? Oh, sorry, perfectly block the enemy's attack temporarily, absolute defense. Then this one increases attack temporarily. Okay, that makes sense. So it just gives you an opportunity to get a perfect block that lets none of the damage through. I was talking about that earlier too. I was wondering if there's like 100% physical damage reduction. Does that work on the red attacks? Schmacer, what's up, dude? Does it feel good to play? It does. The only thing right away that I noticed that's like just a, a fundamental part of the game is it kind of feels like you're on ice sometimes and you're turning. But when you're really into it and you're just playing and not, not looking at the character, it, it it's not noticeable. It's just the way that he is tethered to the ground is very weird. So, like, there's a little bit of this artificial feeling. It's, it's like, more significant than in Dark Souls 2 when you turn. And there's, like, a weird, like, disconnect. Because I guess they did motion capture for it or something. Or, like, the way that it just meshes with the ground is weird. It's not synced up. Like, it's the guy's actually on the ground sometimes. Oh, wait a second. That's the, the trap I went to, right? That takes a really long time to subside there. Oh, wait. No, this isn't even the same thing. There's another one. Do you like the game, Marshall? I do. I do. Felt that way about dodging. It like it's delayed almost. Uh, yeah, that's the, the dodging was really weird at first too, but it actually it's accurate. There's no inconsistency with like even if you're like almost getting crunched under someone like belly flopping you or whatever, or doing a dive on you. It's it's you can escape. It's not like uh, you get caught on anything. But originally when the demo came out, that was what Catalyst was saying. He's like, it feels like you get stuck on enemies. Okay, uh... Now I'm wondering where we... Oh, wait. Down here? That was not a good idea. I think I already... I already Did I already kill? I already fought that guy, didn't I? You felt it was way easier to turn back when you're about to fall over a ledge than in Souls games? Ah, that that could be part of what the thing I'm saying is kind of... It just feels weird, but it, it helps you... Um, maybe pivot better. I know that, like, the actual... Like, the legitimate slide when you turn fast, it, it ends sooner. And... Technically, in Bloodborne, you do run pretty fast. I think in this game, you run faster than all the games. It's like the Sekiro run, almost. It's like in between Sekiro and Bloodborne. We still need to figure out that. I'll violate, what's up, dude? Beat the rest of the game without taking damage shouldn't be that difficult. Oh, I, you, the thing is, everything you've already seen when I took damage, that wasn't my gameplay. Like, my actual gameplay was before you got here. I already did beat the game without damage. But, like, most people can't handle it, so I had to pretend that I was doing another playthrough. This is just a pre-recorded footage. It's not even me. I'm just going back through to commentate what's happening. That's it. I'm not actually playing right now. <laughs> I couldn't imagine a world where you don't. Do damage list first try. That's just, that's ridiculous. Okay, we got to figure out where to go. So I went this way last time, and then we got the NPC that was over here. Uh, oh, I got to fall down into there. That's what, what needs to be done, I think. Where the dogs are. Can I survive that? Is there is there a way to jump over there? I think that yeah, that's another one of the checkpoints. 
Oh, dude, the damage. What's going on here? Is this like a clone of souls? It is actually. It, it's intending to be a clone of Bloodborne with a different story and some other things. I don't think it's actually like a legitimate direct clone, but for example, there's some enemies that resemble some of the Bloodborne enemies and they have like ridiculously close similarities with the moveset, but then obviously their design is different with um, like the visuals and the theme is pretty damn good. Oh, that was just where I died. It's not actually... I thought that was one of the checkpoints, damn it. Wasn't sure. Oh, are we gonna get chased by a million dogs? I need that thing that makes the pulse on the ground. He blocked it. Oh my god. Oh, I broke his sword, dude. What? That's cool. I've never seen that before. Did anybody know you could do that? Is that like a common thing or is it just with that enemy? What in the shimamomo? <laughs> uh, Lilac, what's up? How's it going? Wait, did somebody raid? Did I, did I get raided again? I'm sorry if I'm missing some stuff. Uh, oh, Lilac, thank you so much for the, the host. I appreciate it. How was your stream? What were you playing? I'm going to take a wild guess and say this, but maybe you can surprise me. Like, I got asked so many times so I was playing this. I, I was already going to, but then, like, you, you could probably believe that if I if I wasn't planning on it, that I just did it to have people stop asking me, because if I had to read one more sentence saying, I'm, am I playing it? I, I would have definitely just not been able to handle it, dude. Would have tapped it. I would never streamed again. Pre-recorded AI streamer, pre-rendered gameplay. <laughs> it is a mechanic in this game, breaking the sword. That's so cool. Oh, I wonder, was that the door that was not accessible from the one side? Oh no, wait, we got a new area. Did anybody else have a hard time keeping track of where they are? Because the city just looks pretty consistent, like there's not like like very, very notable landmarks everywhere. <laughs> no. <laughs> Save the world, he's like, he's like, are you stupid? <laughs> Come on, it's simple. Uh you You wanna play it, but you wanted to play Outlast 2 for spooky season. It was really boring, so you dropped it for dead cells. Oh, you didn't like Outlast 2 that much? Fair enough. The first one uh, the fact that it was in, like, the Asylum was a lot cooler, in my opinion, as, like, a venue. The second one did add in some really interesting characters, though. I will say that. Um, did you, did you like the first one, or did you not play it? Oh, cussing. You know what caused the puppet frenzy, don't you? <laughs> You're their maker, practically their father. You and the alchemist scheming together. Tell me the truth! He sounds slightly Irish. What's your problem? I'm here for the old man. Get lost. Like, it fades Wait. in and out. I know you. Or more like, I know what you are. He's just like, tiddly tea, give me my You're potatoes. You're devil's puppet. I want my potatoes. You can't sneak past me. Die! Oh my god, we're fighting a donkey. Didn't know my dad was in the game. <laughs> oh, dude, it's like, uh... It's like the butcher knife almost. Oh, she's fast. Wow. Okay, but it doesn't make any sense. You could swing that weapon that quickly. I, I want to recall on that. Oh no. Okay, that's actually a boss. Damn. Showing up already. Oh, wow. Oh, 
Oh, he does multiple. Oh, no. For sure. <laughs> what is this game on? I think it's PS5, Xbox Series X, and PC. Like, all the new consoles. Missed the shortcut. Big run to get back. Oh. Yeah, that's definitely a Souls game, for sure. PS1 and Game Gear. Man, PS1's been having some, some good successes recently. Didn't find the shortcut? I don't think I had noticed it, no. Miss Potts. Watching you get on that bridge was painful, I can imagine. That's why I was asking if anyone else had that issue. Also, you have to remember, though, if I'm streaming it, like, it's different than you just sitting there paying full attention to the game, because my mind's going to lapse in between reading the chat while I'm also running around. Like, I'm not going to absorb the same level of info. But, dude, yeah, that is actually painful, because look at look how close we were. I'm going to kill these guys and find a shortcut. Oh, you can run while locked on, too. That's cool. Okay, they got that feature. <laughs> He's crab walking away. this and then you can go through the door where the, the NPC is, right? This game was so much better than you were anticipating it to be, Blue Memory. I actually think the same, too. It's, it's better than I thought it was going to be already. But these days, though, I don't really get excited for games, really. Uh, and then I also don't really look up a lot of information on most of them, just because... I kind of want to be surprised. If I trust it, it's a cool idea, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to try it anyways. I'm going to gamble on it. Even if I do more research, it's not going to make a difference. Then what it does is it kind of keeps the uh, the slate clean, so then I can I could just anticipate nothing and go in actually blind, right? Whereas if you watched a lot of people play this first, you probably get the idea. It is pretty cool. It's not like it's going to be that surprising. So yeah, the little bit that I did see wasn't enough to know how cool it was. It was like, I even said too, like I wasn't guaranteed going to get it. It was mainly just on release. I want to um, hear some feedback from people if it's worth it. And then a couple people that I trust were like, it's it's really, really good. But yeah, it's like a, a weird in-between where it, it, it's like a triple A game kind of, but not quite fully. And that's not even disrespecting just like the effort they put in. It's just like there's some things, there's some polish that's not quite necessary for it but if they did put it in it would almost put it in the same category as like a really big big game you know so it's not quite a like a indie game but it's like also not as polished in certain cases as the the top tier games really delighted you unexpectedly that's good I'll kill you both then string you up on oh, the bridge oh dude the damage It almost, I almost feels like I have to learn how to parry on this one. Like, I could hit him and dodge in between, but he just, he, he does a lot of damage and he swings fast. It was definitely worse than you thought it was going to be. You hope Lords of the Fallen will exceed expectations, but you're trying to lower them. That's the thing is, if you have, like, too many expectations or an idea of what you think it's going to be like, um, you are narrowing the spectrum of, of, of what the game can be, right? So, if it doesn't fall into the exact category, you're going to be more disappointed. You don't have to parry? Okay. 
feels like that for me. It feels like almost like that's the biggest advantage. Accidentally use your Fable Catalyst instead of your Healing Pulse Cell. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. There's there, one. One has the pokey thing on the top, and the other one has the one on the bottom when you jab it in your arm. So it's like a different direction, so you can just see that, and then it's the right one, man. Easy. Should have probably paid attention to the direction and the color of it too. <laughs> Imagine. Are you a dream or a nightmare? I should make a song about it. It's like, Stop showing up already. The heal cells connected to the up button. Actually, no, it doesn't even make any sense. They're both connected to the up button. The real voice. The real voice without the voice filter is pretty scary. Like, I always run a voice filter, so if I turn off, it's pretty crazy, because then I'm pretty much talking like this, and you're going to leave the stream, so I have to turn it back off again. I'm really trying to parry. Cursed puppet! Back again! <laughs> Destroyed for Michael sure. Jackson. <laughs> That's not Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson sounds better than that. What are you talking about? Let him learn. Yeah, so what, what happens with me is my learning curve is very fast. So, or it's not fast overall. It's just like, um, it looks like I'm not learning anything and then it just, and then it just goes to basically knowing what to do. It's not like gradual or, or like linear, if that makes sense. Because I, I store the information, I don't execute it right away, and then I execute it like all at once. I'm gonna download the dun dunk you. <laughs> they really took delayed attacks from Elden Ring to a new level in this. Oh yeah, for sure. It's cool though, because this animation's like they look like it's an actual person attacking. Download the full move set. Yeah, it's like I'm st I'm it's in my mind, but I'm not thinking about it too much yet, and I'm gonna execute it when the time is right. Not stress over it too much. Or maybe that's my excuse so I can look like I'm playing bad and get away with it. <laughs> His rolling's kinda funny. Back again. Oh, the hitboxes are really good in this. I didn't know you could be that close. I'm thinking, oh, I gotta be really far away or it's gonna clip me still. That's a really good hitbox. Wow, okay, that's impressive. So the running attack is really good. The stagger, which I think I figured out before. It's not using it enough right now. Okay, so you can use that for the red attack. That's cool. This time it's nope. destroyed for sure. The game is overall super polished and it shows save. In, in a lot of ways, it is more than I thought it was going to be. Like, actually even looks better. Even though you you know you probably have the right answer as to what to do, you still want to try other things. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's a good point. But then again, though, sometimes that fails me because I someone could be like, hey, this item is really good. Use this item. Win easy. And then I'm just like using the base weapon you start with and I'm just trying to be like pushing way more buttons and doing way more stuff. 
and figuring it out that way. So while you're right, I don't always pick the easiest option sometimes. <laughs> At this point, I actually don't even know though, so I'm still trying to figure that out. The makers took a lot of inspiration from Bloodborne. Yeah, definitely. Finished it, you want to play again, Mushu? So what was the amount of playtime you had on it? I'm curious. Are you a dream or a nightmare? Stop showing up already. That's a really weird attack. Okay, that one I think I can parry. I saw the red for a second. Can you backstab? Destroyed for sure. Backstabs all day. Oh, you can. Okay. Put seven eight hours over four playthroughs in Platinum Trophy. In this game, thirty two hours, but you're a loot goblin and you read everything, you explore every corner. That's not too bad. Thirty two hours. That's a solid playthrough. I was thinking because someone said it was short. I was like, oh, I'm like twelve hours for this one, but yeah, that's that's not bad at all. You have to say early game, the difference between a strength or dex build is massive on difficulty. So which one's easier then? Because I feel like it hasn't been super hard yet. I think I've, I've been kind of kind of silly sometimes. I haven't done the best things, but it doesn't feel super, super hard. It took you 50 hours because some bosses took you forever and you wanted to explore a lot. That's a solid playthrough. That's actually really rare to find games that are that long now, overall. I'll kill you both, then string you up on the bridge. Oh, I thought I could space that. Oh, I got it. Nice. Ah, I found the secret. Nice. Oh, it's cheesy now. It is definitely not dairy free anymore. Are you or Everyone get the lactate, just Stop in case. Up already. It's like, well, <laughs> just wait until he sees phase two. I, I know someone's thinking that right now. Cursed puppet! Back again! Oh, he's actually getting his health back too. You gotta be quick. Stop showing up already. Uh oh. Oh, here we go. We got some stagger going. I love how the bar shows you. That is one of my favorite features. I could have got the. Oh, here we go. Goodbye, donkey. I demand it. The truth. Now I feel bad for my comrade. <laughs> this guy has impressive functional strength the way he's swinging that thing. That's what I was saying. It's almost like it's definitely not real. Like, definitely paper mache. It's, it's a hollow sword. 
or its arts and crafts. He made it in school. The mad donkey is Cloud Strife. Strong. <laughs> Dude, it's so funny. I actually the wait. They didn't say it was his dad yet, did they? It's a dream. I knew when that guy showed up, it was his dad. And I, I don't know if you're supposed to. I just knew it. Understand? I was like, he 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 left for milk and he came back. I invented the puppets after all. I should take responsibility as their maker. It's Margaret. But in order for me to do that. I need to take care of the puppets. I can see how Margaret's voice in this guy. Yeah, Won't like you help I can see me, it being the same voice actor for sure. Son, take this. I wonder how hard it would be to do the accents You'll though, or if this useful. is like different than his regular voice. Oh, we got the Mad Donkey set. Enigma assembly tool. What is that? Tool that can assemble and disassemble a weapon's blade and handle. Weapon assemble is available through Stargazers and Eugenie. Okay, that's what we need. That's the thing we were talking about. So we can go back to the hotel then. Cool. And then let's check the the set too. Is over here. Wait. Wait. Am I? Oh, character. No. Costume. Ah, it looks a little cooler. We'll, we'll try it. <laughs> I like the, the mask, that's funny. I want to hear all about your experiences, but now isn't a good time. You know, this is a messed up version you of Pinocchio. That's what people were saying, yeah. Open the bridge door. Then, get rid of the frenzied puppets that have seized City Hall. We're going to City we'll Hall. We'll catch up at Hotel Croc when you're done. Sounds good, Dad. I want to hear all about your experiences. But now isn't a good time. I imagine Use the stalkers if he talked to this open the bridge door. Then, get rid of the frenzied puppets. We'll catch up. Hello, son. It has been a long time. You should go to the hotel. Kill the puppets that seized City Hall. <laughs> What's this game looks good? Muhammad, this is uh, Lies of P. Remember the boys go to Pleasure Island and turn into donkeys? In Pinocchio? Or in, in, in like a, like what is that? I don't remember that. You can hardly get um, the Puppet Master on the demo, but you got him second try on the actual game. That's cool. So that was the first boss, right? Cool. There's just so many enemies. I want to use that Moonstone to get plus three on the weapon. I wonder if we could have already done that without having that tool. Because the, the, the tool was saying for uh, assembling the handles and the blades. Yeah, so this thing, it technically counts as something like a bonfire. I'm gonna use it so I can get the health back and then so kill those guys again. So about that weapon assembly tool you were talking about. Oh, some info. If you find any more weapons, let's try using them here. Cool. Okay, so you can kind of mix and match. Uh, let me see the display. Jump and powerfully strike downward at the enemy. The handle. Ooh, that's cool. I like that. The, we got the perfectly blocked one right now, right here. Increase attack temporarily. That's not bad either. I don't know how much attack it would do, though. We'd have to test that. 
Time the enemy's attack correctly to deflect it and trigger a powerful attack. Oh, that's cool. So a deflect when using the ability it has like an auto retaliation. Temporarily increases your attack for the next hit. So that must be longer than this one. Or sorry, no, um, this one's longer than the, uh, the, the, the temporarily one. Where it's like just on the next hit. So I wonder what, if this is more damage than this one. I want to try putting the blade with the handle from this and see what that looks like. If that's even possible. Wait. Is that how that works? Yeah, there we go. Oh, did I not save it? I'll have the moveset of your handle and changes change scalings. Blade adds raw damage and affects speed of your handle depending on the blade's weight. Hmm, okay. I don't think I did it properly. That blade has the most damage. There's two of them we got. Then we have to press X. Oh, now we got a different moveset, too. We got the horizontal attack. So it's kind of like it's the, the moveset of the handle that had the club on it originally. And then, wait, how does this LBY work? Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> that is really cool. Okay. I like that a lot. Uh, what build am I going to run? Or are you just going with the flow? A little bit of both. Like, I wanted to start off with strength. I usually like strength characters, so, like, heavier weapons. But uh, wh whatever seems to be the best thing at the time. Because my stats, I put it into... Uh, it was um, Vitality and... What's the other thing called again? Uh, motivity. Motivity. Try this out. Is it still not enough? Do I have to have all three? Oh wow, that's a really good attack. Uses all three bars though. Oh shit. Don't die. I'm still moving pretty fast even with the, the switch up on the handle. I wonder, does it change the stagger value, like mix and matching the weapons? That backstab's so hard to get. <laughs> locked and forgot that the health would not be enough. Scaling and moveset is from each handle. Reach and base damage is from blade. Okay. You ran strength. It was really fun. Yeah, th if there's big bonk weapons like, you know, Oonga Boonga, that's usually what I do. It's so like anything blunt, any great sword or uh, like a polearm usually. Like, I, I was always saying, if in real life I had to go into hand-to-hand -hand combat, I would use a halberd probably, just because you get a spear and a blade weapon that has reach, and you can, like, choke people with it, and then you could use the blunt end of it to poke things as well. And you can spin, and then, like, you could still have a sidearm, too, that you could pull out. So there's, there's, there's so many more things you could do, even though it doesn't look that cool. I think that's a cool utility. Like, greatsword would just be dumb. Like, a claymore would be too heavy. Uh, regular longsword, you'd probably want a shield with that, too. Um, but then there's still the option you could use a shield with the, the pull arm. And look, what if the sword breaks, or you just need to get too close, but you want to be further away, you know? What am I, I going to dress up as for Halloween, Hoskin? Uh, it's going to be a really weird costume, I can say that. Like, I might do it on stream if I actually stream that day, but um, nothing in particular for, like, 
my body. I, I have like a mask that lights up when you talk, and then I was gonna put another mask behind it to look like a some sort of futuristic alien of some sort. That was the goal. I might actually just get an alien mask and then lay the other one over top because it's all it's all voice activated. I think it'd be really cool. And I'd also be able to breathe out of it a lot easier than when we did the Squid Game Guard. Oh, that's a really good running R2. Wait, you're not an alien? Well, the thing is, if I was, the smart thing would be to pretend that I'm not by wearing a costume that suggests that it's like a bonus feature when really the, I could have just worn my regular costume and taken my skin off, right? So... It's, it's hard to tell. It's, it could be the case, but also maybe I'm telling the truth. That's part of the fun, though, because like no one's going to care about the costume, but there's not a bit of mystery to it. I can't just go and say, yeah, like, just boom, let's transform right now. <laughs> Oblivion, thanks for the 14 months again, man. How have you been, dude? What are you guys going to be for Halloween if you are going to wear a costume for anything? It's like, oh yes, I do quite like the electricity over here. It's like, it feels very exhilarating. Oh no, my health bar is almost gone. That man... killed me. Was it a horse? Maybe a donkey. A slightly less depressed version of yourself? That's not a bad costume. I, it's never a bad thing. Well, how about you, you, you do that, and then I challenge you to continue to have, keep the costume for the rest of the year. And then maybe the next year too. And then the next year after that, you just like keep going. You just keep adding the the even lesser depressed version. Until people start getting scared and you're just smiling all the time. And then that actually would be scary anyways, right? That would be a good Halloween costume. to charge and I got the, the critical. I keep forgetting that this uh, handle, it doesn't let you do as many attacks with the charger R2. Oh, no. Broken no baby puppet, that's scary. Here. What do we do? Just give her that baby puppet? Oh, she's blind, dude. That's a lie. That's another one. That's one of those... Uh, things of the story, so I could give her the baby puppet, or do I tell her that we don't find the baby? I'm just gonna tell her, dude. We're gonna break the truth. Because she's already, like, one foot out the door. Like, she already got sent away for being like, I guess, uh, contagious or ill or whatever the hell they were, they were talking about. Let's just go tell the truth, dude. I'm not giving someone a freaking wooden baby and saying that it's real. That's, that's ridiculous. Also, she should know it's not real. You shouldn't have to need to have eyes. That's kind of crazy. The lie, you get rewarded nicely. I don't know if I could do that. I'm also just curious in the storyline what she will actually say, because... Like, we... I think we all know she's just going to believe it's a real baby. Otherwise, why would that even have relevance? It's probably going to be that she believes it. So I want to see what she, she says when you say that there's no survivors. The truth run. Well, just for this situation. Because if I went into this and I couldn't have chat tell me anything, I, would, I wouldn't I would know that lying the entire game would get you a different ending or anything. I'd probably assume there's like a, like a karmic system that shifts the balance of the ending a little bit, like there's points towards it, but I didn't think that just specifically doing that gets you some sort of ending. So, um, unless there was something to suggest it, I probably would have just picked and choose, chosen based on whatever scenario is like for example to get into the building we had to get into that was a uh, that that one seemed like we were supposed to tell the lie there but i'm not giving them giving her a wooden baby that's stupid <laughs> use a star fragment at the cracks calling next to the boss area to summon a specter is that one of the areas for it oh and then we can can use them as consumables it's not like a 
like a permanent item. I wonder what the specters even look like. Is it based on a character we played with? Or that we've beaten? Uh, you don't know what happens, but you know there's a truth and lies in the game. That's basically the position I'm in, so... Lie or don't lie, it'll all be revealed. I guess there's, there is a little bit of a mystery in this still, you're right. Bisu, what's up, dude? This game is really cool so far. I'm actually surprised. Like, I, it's... It's different than I thought it was going to be. Not that it's necessarily much, much better, but it's like, it's better and it's just different than I thought it was going to be. I didn't think the gameplay was going to be as fluid overall. Or like there wasn't going to be all the features that they have. It's, uh... Vort of the Boreal Town Hall. Oh, we're frostbitten. It's over. <laughs> oh. I'm assuming we're supposed to get a shortcut before this part. Scrap Watchman. Oh no. Blade's reach is really good right now. It seems like it changed a little bit. Damn. But also Parl. Yeah, I kind of like Parl too. The Spectre looks like Dante. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay, I'm going to warp back to that hotel. and We'll see if we can use the Moonstone. Unless on this screen you can do that too. I don't think so. Um, yeah, let's go back to the central. Is it the plaza? No, it's the. It is. The plaza outside of it. This is your game of the year 2023, unless Lords of the Fallen slaps. Really? For me, it's still Armored Core, but. That's a that's a big statement though. It got very positive feedback on Steam. And usually I, if you think of it this way, people that are just like in the shadows playing this as an individual that doesn't make content have have such an ability to make some really funny reviews that don't actually stack up to being fair for what the game was supposed to be. They could just be like absolute garbage, crashed on the first playthrough. Worst game ever refunded, but it's like their hardware is bad or something like that. There could be so many different reasons for it not to be positive. More than someone that has to be exposed and show you their playthrough and document it. And then also has like an experience of reviewing different games, right? And people trust like that they're going to give a good opinion. So I think that's a, it's a good feedback rate. It's very positive. Hey, wait, I think is it Cassini Alley? It's the other one. You know that, that Geppetto's voice actor is the same guy who does Margaret Morgan? Yeah, we were talking about that. Um, I, I only know that because people were telling me. Sorry, Kerasini Alley. And then that's where the boss was. Uh, oh, maybe, maybe that's still too far. I think I might have had the right one. Hit X on teleporter menu. Okay. Makes more sense. You were furious you had to Google what to do. You just knew it was a gimmick boss. First Elden Ring run was 70 hours and first Lies of P run was 30. Wait, you had, you had to Google what to do for what for which one? 
Wait, oh, yeah, Hotel Crass. See, that's a that's a that's a thing that would definitely be on the screen in a world where they had options that you could press buttons for that, that are not just selecting off of the list. It's true. <laughs> I was like actually looking for it, thinking there was one that was outside of here and not the actual building. I know my way around a weapon. Want me to look at something? I wish that like, if you put the donkey mask on that you would show up and they would get scared. Be like, oh my god. Okay, so the blade itself is what I'm upgrading, not the handle, right? So far I do... Oh, there's the puppet saber too. Uh... Yeah, so far I do like this blade. Oh, we need we need three of the moonstones. What? And two hundred ergo, or is it just no? Sorry, I have three of them, and I only need one. I think that's what it was. I know my way. Now it's 230, wow, okay. I guess I'll just pop all the basic ones and then, I don't know, was that enough to get a level 800? Eh, not really. I know my way. All right, we got plus two. So let's go back here and then see what the lady says. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a break for five minutes because we haven't taken a break yet. We'll come back and we'll do another, do like another hour and a half or so. Or we'll just, we'll just see. We'll see where it takes us. This game gives a lot of portable souls. It actually does, yeah. It reminds me of Dark Souls 2 does that in the beginning of the game. It gives you a lot of small ones. Which don't seem to help too much in it, but yeah, it gives you, it gives you a lot of them. Still the wrong way. <laughs> Twenty-four hour stream. What, what was that? Did he, did he say he was ending on Thursday? Like, <laughs> what? It's like, yeah, I definitely heard that it was a twenty-four hour subathon, and at a uh, hundred subs in the next hour, we're we're gonna go in a hot tub and, and put on a uh, a clown outfit. Yeah, definitely. Oh wait, and you're also you're also giving away three Teslas. Oh wait, also a Lamborghini, dude. And a PS5? What? That's crazy. The like, guys, I got the clip, and then like it's just like me, and you can see like they cut out someone else's mouth and photoshopped it on my face. <laughs> oh, wait, the lady was up here. Here we go. Hot tub clowns. I don't think I've seen that yet. Be kind of scary though. You found her, guide one. Like, please let me hold her. There, there, my baby. I missed you so much. The, the crying lady's not as good of a voice actor as a real crying person. Do you think? Isn't my baby adorable? Isn't my baby adorable? She's a puppet. <laughs> What's wrong, kind one? Oh, she this doesn't believe you. Is my baby. She's just like, this is my baby. And she like punches through the window and grabs you. She's like, tell me something else I don't already know. Did my family convince you? I just to want lie? to hold something. Don't do it. That road leads to nothing but sadness. I should know. Did my family convince you to lie? She wants to think that I'm lying. Well, so the world might on. be mended. Please the world my token of gratitude. Oh, so that's pretty interesting. She still gives you something. Is that the same thing you get if you tell her that it is the baby? Or that the baby's cute or something like that? Rossi, thank you so much for the 13 months. Welcome back, dude. Oh, it isn't the same thing you get. Okay. 
Wow. Selective tipping. That's crazy. The donkey delivery service ends here. I'm no longer a postman. Go to the most recent Stargazer. It's definitely way worse. Oh, the item's worse? Or... Or so, yeah, like this this item that I got is worse. Yeah, not the other one. Ah, <sighs> okay. Where are we going? City Hall. The item you got essentially just gives souls. Yeah, that's true. Nothing special. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chill right here. And I'm gonna make the thumbnail for the stream super scary by just staring into your eyes with the donkey. And I'm gonna leave. And hopefully not die while I'm just sitting here. And I'll be back in like five minutes, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the stream so far. Also, again, if you do have to go or you're just curious, here are all the social networks that I'm on. Uh, definitely check out the YouTube if you haven't. There is a bunch of different videos on Souls-related content. Uh, there's a couple new ones. There's a Bloodborne tier list and an atmosphere comparison video of all seven from soft games since Demon Souls up to uh, Sekiro and Elden Ring as of recently. And then uh, there's the Instagram if you just want to see stuff outside of the channel. Discord if you want to get the alerts for when I go live a lot better. And then the TikTok is a newer thing, but I'm putting a bunch of stuff on there too that are short videos. So I will be back very, very soon. Give me a second.
All right, did or did not? The donkey steal your soul. I feel like he stole mine, and I wasn't even here. Ugh. Played Liza P, Turco? I haven't played Liza P. I might try Liza P, though. You know what's even better than Liza P? When the letter P actually doesn't tell the truth. It's pretty cool. All right, everybody, thank you for being patient. We're gonna see if we can kill this boss. With the plus three. And I guess if this combination's not too good, if we, we figure out it's not the best, I can try some other ones. Um, I, I guess the grapple doesn't really do anything other than damage really heavy enemies, right? Also, I got this amulet too. I got the puppet destroyer one. Which, it, like, it, it's extra weight. I don't know if that would make me slow. Let me check the equip load. We got 56%. Should make make it so we got more damage on these guys. Although, wait, wait. Does the puppet thing mean that... Is that implying there are humans or other things you kill? Because it says more damage on puppets. Is the boss not a puppet? Or are these guys just puppets, essentially? Did I play the demo or is this my first experience with the game, Tomax? This is the first time I played the game. I didn't really even watch a lot of the demo, but I did get an idea of like what the game's about, essentially. It's been better than I thought, though. It's been really cool. Anything robotic. Okay. Boss is a puppet, too. That's cool. The mad donkey was not a puppet. That's a, that's a good point. There's a person. I almost forgot about the mad donkey. I, uh, the thing is, like, the... The legend of the Mad Donkey is that I became the Mad Donkey, so I can't remember the former Mad Donkey anymore. I only remember being the Mad Donkey the whole time. So what you're saying is it's the best game you've ever played? <laughs> it's one of the best games I've played in a while, I will say that. Like, next to Armored Core, this is a really cool game for 2023. But would I make this one game of the year? Ugh, I don't know, Armored Core is so cool that... It's hard to compare. Let, let me let me see by the end of playing it. If if by the end it like picks up a crazy amount, it's really cool. Then 100. percent Then then I would say it's my favorite game so far from the year. But it's it's like it's close. There's premium merch for the channel. Where? Oh wow. It is so convenient that you had a genuinely and organic question about. Me supplying merchandise to people here. You can see such a hyperlink in the bot command for the entire store. Wow, there's more than one selection of design? Yes, there are several designs for both men and women and other people alike that want different types of fits for t-shirts and hoodies and possibly different types of graphics and logos. There are no clothes for puppets. Cancelled in 2023. Get yourself some premium merch right now. Exactly. Yeah, the one thing I actually did do for the merch, though, that was a, a solid is if you don't want a design being sorted because maybe you, like, you have a chest or something like that, or maybe you uh, you just don't want the design on the, the front, I do actually have designs on the back of the shirts, which I don't actually really make that much money off of because it, it's a pain in the ass for them to print it on the back, apparently. But I went to that level. Even though the, I mean, there's still designs to come, there's still more stuff, but I went to the level of putting it on the back if you want to not have something look crumpled or like warped or whatever if it's a big design. So that's pretty cool. That was one, one thing that I thought of. Oh yeah, the boss was over through the, the hallway over there, right? Yeah, I'm having a hard time remembering some of the areas where like we literally just went through here. I thought we turned the corner and the boss was right away. Forgot we killed this guy. Kind of reminds me of actual Bloodborne. Actual Bloodborne, I could not keep track of where we were going. But this is much simpler. Is the donkey mask for sale? No. Definitely not. It's mine. I am the donkey now. Even Shrek can't have it. Baldying angry? 
Man, I should make I, I should make a Baldi's Basics shirt. That'd be amazing. By gameplay, by story, and by design, this game is incredible. I almost feel like it's not smart killing this guy before the boss. Because we're going to have low resources. I really want the parry, don't I? <laughs> Is it a good thing you get lost in the levels? It's, it's kind of good, but it's like half of it's to do with streaming. That's the thing. It depends on how interactive I am because, like, I, I just challenge anybody here. Just make a channel, try to, like, read all of chat and then have, like, thoughtful responses. Think of other topics, discuss them, play this fluidly, and then, like, remember everything that happened at the same time. It's it's almost impossible, but some people are better at it because they don't really say much to chat as, as often, right? Or even just think of other ideas, so. That's the only thing. I think if I was, like, literally just sitting by myself playing it, I'd remember everything. Be, it would be a lot quicker too. That's the one thing with first playthroughs. Like people meme that so hard on YouTube, they'll be like, "Wow, I can't believe you didn't notice this. You didn't do this. Whatever." It's like, well, the brain is multitasking, and I'm already sometimes big dum dum. So it's like, it's a combination. Valor, what's up, dude? Also, Kim, welcome back. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? It's gonna come down to Tears of Kingdom or Baldur's Gate three. Oh yeah, I forgot Baldur's Gate came out as well. Yeah, I'd probably vote Tears of Kingdom. I could see that being rigged. <laughs> but Baldur's Gate did have a really long time between the previous one and this one, so... Like, it might have been more anticipated. Oh, I think we might want to go back and level. Wait, I can just do that with the, the Stargazer thing, right? Or the Amulet? I should put that on the slot, uh, lower belt. Put it right here. I do like the lower belt idea, that's cool. Oh, I healed, no. <laughs> I really do like that idea where it's like separated to the top D-pad and then the bottom. Instead of going up and down from one list. So you can have um, a few different things and then it's... Yeah, and then you have the secondary menu which we haven't even used yet. Smolder, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Have you played this? Oh, wait, we can't level up this one, can we? Gotta go back to the Hotel Krat. You're only four hours into BG3. Baldur's Gate. Four hours sounds like the intro. <laughs> like watching an intro cinematic or something. Isn't it one of those games kind of like Diablo where you can play like a really long time? I'll use my power. Yeah, we can level quite a bit. That's good. So again, motivity is going to increase the damage. <sighs> Technique is scaling the weapon we're using a lot slower. I'm not sure if it's because it's such a low level still. Oh, it's the arm abilities, too, that it actually helps. But motivity also helps it as well, so it's like doing both. And then advance is... Again, more of the same. It's actually going slower if I use advance. So yeah, we'll just, we'll just keep going with these two. Back to Firelink Hotel. <laughs> That's actually really funny. I bet you if they didn't say that this was inspired by that kind of stuff or they didn't imply it heavily, people would be like, they just copied that game. It's not even good. It's like it would be like a complete flip of the script. There'd still be people that would like it, but there'd be so many people hating. Nowadays, I feel like it's pretty obvious to, to like kind of advertise you are trying to make it like that. Just so there isn't any kind of scrutiny. You gotta give credit. There's some games that didn't do that originally, though. Like, when there was Souls-likes first being made, there was games that didn't explicitly go on the record saying, even in interviews or, you know, in different types of showcases, that they were inspired by that. Or that it was of a similar subgenre. 
This one's like too obvious, man. I would say even Mortal Shell would be less obvious. It's better than Mortal Shell so far, though. And, and that's not even to say Mortal Shell's not good, but it's a more complete game. So that's another thing, too. I'm really excited to see what the studio that made Mortal Shell does next, because they use that as like a, like a warm-up, kind of like a proof of the concept that they're trying to do. Wondering what's next for that. I, like, I know they are working on something. I can't say much about it, but I do know they are doing something. So hopefully it still holds up and they, they complete it. Open shortcut. Just did. There you go. How short of a cut is it, though? That's pretty short. It's like around the corner, but then it skips the enemies. Oh yeah, there's a back step as well. Mortal Shell is not comparable to Liza P, of course. You don't know that yet. I know they're not really comparable completely. I'm just saying they, they're, they're a subgenre that's the same. Complete, completely the same subgenre inspired by Souls games, regardless of which one. Action RPG. Exact same concept, just like a different... Um, or the exact same aim of what they're trying to do, but the, the actual story is different, obviously, and the theme is different. The only thing that makes it a different category of comparison would be that Mortal Shell is like more of an indie game that wasn't a full release. It wasn't like something huge, it was 30 bucks. Seventy-one damage with the grapple. I was making some scary sounds. The tracking's like perfect on that. Oh, I had to stand in that spot, damn it. Oh, we got the, the power up. Here we go. Cool. Interesting. The, this guy's moveset's really cool. Oh, he's got electric shot. Is that a cancel? Or just that one attack? Bite of me? What was, what was that? Is he nibbling? What the, what's going on here? That was wild, dude. You have no real range builds. That's true. That's a good point. Will I play Lords of the Fallen? Um, I'll, I'll probably play it eventually, but I'm not going to play it on release for a couple different reasons. One, I'm like I'm just preoccupied with this right now, and a couple other things I already planned. And then the second reason, they kind of low blowed the agency that I'm I'm with for sponsorships and for game releases. So I was supposed to be an ambassador for Lords of the Fallen and have my own like I was gonna have a skin essentially in the game, like a downloadable one, as well as a few other content creators. So we're gonna be like kind of like 
promoted in the actual game with the stuff you guys could use. We were going to be promoting the game before it came out, before anyone had it. And there were contracts made and tons of negotiations for a year and a half, and then they just pulled back at the last second and then still tried to come back and be like, oh, well, you could just play it anyways and not and like endorse it for free, essentially. And it's like, it, that's all okay and everything if that's the first thing they said right right at the beginning, but they, they, they literally made promises, as far as I know, that they didn't keep uh, for a year and a half on like contracts for stuff to, for us to help like actually like advertise it heavily. And they handpicked like a bunch of people that were like really, really into these kind of games and we were all excited. And so it actually wasted a huge amount of time from my, my talent agent and like his business essentially. So they were saying like, I mean, you, you can do whatever you want, but like they were like, I wouldn't play it if, if it was me just because it's gonna help them and they, they should have like been a little bit better with how they handled the business side of it. Not that it's going to be a bad game, but just like the, it, they were just the hardest people apparently to work with and just were really silly in the end, so. I think I'm allowed to say that at this point, so I'm not going to help them promote it when it comes out. I'll play it like maybe later on. That turns into the grabbing part too, doesn't it? I was thinking maybe it doesn't do too much. Does he try to grab you again? Back to back grabs? Yeah, it's a weird short attack. It's the, the red one. Downloading. I'm definitely downloading, yep. <laughs> they updated the firmware while I was playing the fight. Now I know what to do. What game are we talking about? Lords of the Fallen. And also, don't get me wrong, guys. Like, I don't have a problem with playing a game and buying it and stuff like that. I totally want to support a development studio. But, like, the fact they just set all that stuff up and it was, like, already kind of confirmed and, like, locked in, it, it like, wastes time and money of people that are, like, working pretty hard to help me do this essentially um, on a higher level than I would be able to normally because they have a lot of brand relationships that I like to work with and cool things that you guys already want to see anyways and you know we've done a lot of like game launches and other things that I've just really enjoyed doing and that would have been one that would have been cool because it kind of fits the the content and I'd, I'd, I'd be willing to give it a chance I heard good things about it um, but when it's like there's contracts made and all this like behind the scenes stuff being built for that long it's that's the only issue. It has nothing to do with, like, if they had just come to us and been like, hey, we can't offer you a contract, but you can just buy the game and enjoy it, then it wouldn't waste anybody's time. So, um, that's, that's the biggest problem, really. Or maybe, like, maybe, like, they still make a mistake. For example, let's say they make a mistake and then they apologize about it, but it, but it kind of resolves a little bit quicker than that. Like, let's say they, they, they strung us along for a month, 
or a couple months and then they said sorry they can't do it that's way different this is such a long time though so easy to lose the flow of things on this. Nice parries. Thanks, man. This is, this is a really cool boss. This is like two to three times better than the last one, at least. This is like definitely where it's like starting to get really cool. Blue bar and arm attacks don't consume stamina, so you can sneak in those mid attacking. Oh, okay, okay. When I, so when I'm out of stamina, I can do that, essentially. LBY does crazy posture damage. Oh, I forgot I have the LBY. You're right. I, uh... Why am I not spawning with that? Is it because I don't have any of this? And then that doesn't replenish from the, the checkpoint? Yeah, I went the wrong way. Do I like the game so far, Zach? I do, yeah. Look at the ergos. Rate the game 1 to 30. That's an interesting scale to rate on. Uh, so far from what I played, I'd give it like a 25. Oh, the Ergos gives you back the blue. Yeah, and then these are empty because I consume them. And they gotta fill up from me playing, right? Alright, we'll try to use that uh, LBY.
That spin is crazy. Dude, even some of the choir sounds like uh, the Ludwig thing. You give it a 25 to a 27. I see, I see. Is that the head of my boy Eeyore? It actually is a donkey head, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny. Not that the main character looks like he needs it or anything, but like it's it's pretty funny. And like the ears flop too. The fact they made floppy ears is like a huge bonus. Robot Bloodhound Knight Constable. <laughs> like I was saying, it's like a Bort of the Robotic Valley. Bort. Boarded it. This game translates well to keyboard too, surprisingly. Really? Let me try keyboard. Doesn't seem too bad. Walk is shift. Oh, what's the roll button, though? It's kind of weird. I was trying to space bar and it's not the roll button. Catfish, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate that. How are you doing? Welcome to Scrap Watchman attempts. How are you doing, man? Replaying this game as well? I think a lot of people that are hosting me, they are, they are playing this game. At least trying to. Speedrun strats. Crazy.
know why I did that, no. Slow, slow walking moonlit donkey. Here we go. It's my new name. Got a lot of stuff there. Okay, the only thing that also still sucks about this, the info doesn't stay on the screen. Why didn't all the things that it gave me stay on the screen until I pushed the A button? That would have been so much nicer. Then you can just read it and then go through after and know what to look for, right? Because like eventually you're going to get so many items that you mistake some for other ones. How does this game compare? Chris Dabs, it's good. It's cool, dude. That was also a really cool boss, too. Not sure if it's slight frame drops to the, the janky movements. If it looks like it's dropping frames on the stream, let me know. Or if the, the actual encoding on my computer just isn't keeping up with it. Grab the whistle by the bench with the chalk on the floor. Spoiler! <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, let me just see what we got. Uh, the core, we got this P or core, P organ core part. Activating the P organ allows quartz to be equipped. Interesting. And then... What else do we got? I think that, was that it? And then just some consumables. It's just missable? Ah, oh, no worries. It's, it's okay. <laughs> I'm not actually upset about anybody telling me that kind of stuff. Like, even if I told you ahead of time not to do that, it's, it's not like I'm going to be able to tell everyone not to. I'm assuming it's this, or... Or maybe not. Another bench? Wait a second. It says friends. Blue thing activates the P organ. Rate the game so far, Mald? Uh, I would say 8 out of 10 for me so far. It's my conservative answer. With quite a lot of room to improve, just because like the beginning's been... Yeah, I mean, it, it's progressed, definitely. The story's been really interesting. I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed the characters. Um... In terms of boss fights, that one was the first one that actually felt pretty serious. So that was that was cool. I really like that. But I'm definitely waiting to like see a lot more. I really like the ability too with uh, this this weapon handle that we're using, where you do like the flip. No whistle didn't talk to the boy. Oh, okay, I missed the NPC. More spoilers. Wow. <laughs> there is a boy. Benini's guide. Oh, let's see. View details. Oh, we can go right to it. Nice. The factory has been occupied by the puppets. Whatever the cause, Benini Company is responsible for it. I, Lorenzini Benini, am going alone to stop those devils. The factory is very dangerous now. Stay out of it and keep safe. The rest I'll leave to Mr. Geppetto, whom I trust more than anyone. God save us all. Regards, Lorenzini Benini. Linguini Spaghettini. Tortellini. Okay, I'm gonna put some stuff in storage. Because we already have this blade, which is a copy of this one, with the old handle that we used to use. I'll put that away. Raper, I'm not really like using a build that probably will do a lot of damage with it right now, so I'm gonna put that away too. Uh, I think this one this one's handle had a pretty interesting effect with this one as well. It was the uh, increased attack damage. Yeah, for the next hit, and then just in general for a little bit, it's it's increased temporarily. <sighs> this one does more damage. So 
going to put the, the police baton back to just keep these two. Oh, you played Liza P. Thanks for asking. <laughs> you gonna do a boss now? Wish you luck. Wish one, CJ. Oh, wait, actually, no, I shouldn't ask you. You're probably ahead of Whew, me, right? I think we're done here, pal. Back to the hotel. Back to the hotel. Okay. Some of the early side quests in this game are insanely easy to miss if you aren't specifically looking for them. That one with the baby was pretty difficult because I already ran by it and there was no sound that I got. There was no there's no NPC talking. And then when I read the sign and walked out the second time to that little ledge with the ladder going down, then then I heard the audio, so I don't know if I did something wrong the first time. Did you find the guy that constantly is talking to you? Uh, no. Oh, wait, sorry. The guy constantly talking to you, annoying. The, the dude that's giving me the tip right there to go back? I, would, I wouldn't say that. Couldn't be more annoying than people are asking me if I'm playing this game, right? <laughs> no, I'm joking. You saved I'm joking. Geppetto. Wonderful. He is on the second floor. He can hardly wait to see you. Second floor, Geppetto. Run, donkey, run. I think I see him over there. Oh, wait. Was I, was I seeing things? I thought I saw him sitting in there. It was just flowers and a lampshade. Wow. I've been tricked. What's this machine? Change shape. No shape memories saved on this device. Is that like a build layout? Not gonna lie, you're watching some Souls ranks you made and you really wanted to comment. Played Soul <laughs> Lies of Pia. <laughs> you, sh you should, dude. If you ever have a funny comment that's kind of like not super useful or isn't the question or anything like that, just put it on the video anyways. It helps. Oh, and then it might make people like go back and trying. forth and respond to it. Forgive a sentimental father for what he did his son. Always remember that you're precious to me, even when I ask you to do something dangerous. Speaking of which, there's a factory just beyond the Lycian Boulevard. It's packed with countless puppets. My friend, the inventor Vinini, went to stop them, but he never came back. Please, go save him and shut down the factory. Cutscene. Pea organs are the source of your powers. Collect quartz to get the strength you need. Remember, oh, okay. That wasn't a long time. The hotel scene. is the last safe place in Krat. It's our only refuge in a city. Be careful who you tell about this place, especially if they're stalkers or alchemists. Be wary of dangerous people, and always be a good boy to me. I'm not a boy. I'm a donkey. I am a donkey. What are you talking about? <laughs> Get out of my swamp. Uh, you ran circles in the street before you realized you had to talk to somebody in the wall. <laughs> That's funny. So there's a lot of are a lot of the NPCs in the actual windows. Very sensitive moderators. Got banned for 60 minutes for asking Sasha Gray chat. Wait. Are oh are the Sims behaving today? Oh no, that's not good. Can't say the S word in, in Twitch. That's you can't say that anywhere. Not allowed, dude. That's like if you like were fighting a boss on Souls and like asking someone if they tried doing a certain strategy that they already tried doing, and you just you just came in at the wrong time after they died like three times. Gonna gonna ban you from the country, dude. 
It's a barber chair. <laughs> a barber chair with electrocution. Also, uh, money. What's going on, dude? Good to catch a stream. Is this the first? I guess this is the first time you've been here because it says first time chat. Unless you were lurking and you didn't say anything before. Yeah, you made it on the very first day of playing this. Hope hopefully you enjoy what you're seeing. Or maybe you already know what you're seeing. Maybe you're just watching me struggle. He said that without even knowing about the Shrek cameo later. Is there actually a Shrek cameo? Put foolish puppetry to rest. Each time the synergy effect effects of two groups are activated, the next step is unlocked. You can get a greater variety of effects as you take your P organ to higher phases. Okay. So this is like a skill tree kind of, or... Uh, yeah, it is essentially. Enables another dodge in the middle of a dodge motion. What? Like a faint, kind of? Like you can faint the dodge? Increases staggerable window one. Increases time of enemy staggerable status. I want to see the top one. Oh, there we go. Increase pulse cells one. Maximum amount of pulse cells use uses, okay. And then add fable slots. We got one extra bar for the blue bar. Oh, I definitely want to get the dodge within the dodge. Am I able to do that? Wait, I'm confused now. Did I do it wrong? I'm, I'm kind of confused. The dodges suck initially. Do I, oh, I have to get two of the slots filled to unlock this fully because it's like half filled, right? So you put two things in here and then it and then it gets it. Little skills on the big skill. That's a lot of stuff then. Wow. Okay. How long till the hub buys Twitch? Oh, that would be that'd be terrible. I'd probably quit then. That'd be that'd be quite a quite an evil association there. <laughs> Although there is like a lot of questionable stuff on this website already, and the guy that owns it, from what I've understood, he said some things that are super, super out there. Where if I hadn't already streamed beforehand, like before Amazon even owned the platform, even though they did a lot of good stuff, like I would have been very apprehensive of even streaming on here in the first place versus streaming on YouTube. Because at least with YouTube, it's like, it's not as weird in my opinion, but there's a lot of weird stuff on here. There's a lot of like super, super, like it's, it's not even, it's, it gets to the point where it's like, what's the point of the platform, right? Or like the person that's running it i can't remember the guy's name but it's like is his interest is his best interest actually invested in this or does he not care that's what i wonder because they've been letting a lot of unfortunate things happen for like even just that partner premium contract i feel like they should be able to find a balance where they can make it more fair where they don't have to you don't have to have the partner premium requirements if you already had them originally um and they should have made everyone aware that there is a contract like that to get them to incentivize having more subscribers and like working towards that so that it was available for everybody and then they would have just made more money anyways in the first place that's what i thought of but they kept it super secretive the city of Krat. uh hieronymus i appreciate that thanks not dude. how you remember it eh ask me any questions and i'll fill in the gaps put little skills on the big skill and then individual upgrades that you slot are active immediately then the node upgrade is active upon filling it okay let's see four different subtypes too it's a lot little skill works in the start though okay so we got the i gotta read that again i think it was like attack increase or something like that venini works as the puppet's main base it's a factory where they manufacture more of themselves. Vanini himself went to stop them, but I'm worried. He's an industrialist, not a fighter. Rescue Vanini and shut down his factory. That will deny the puppets their reinforcements. Gonna go kill Vanini Spaghettini. The cathedral is famous for its wise and We're not kind gonna kill him, we're gonna him. <laughs> Andreas. He offers sanctuary to countless refugees there. The thing is, I've lost touch with them. Perhaps no news is good news, but I'm a suspicious sort. And Must be nice having a puppet you could just go send to, like, cathedral, literally shut down a factory and, like, devastating. raid a city hall and stuff like that. That's go pretty crazy. Save the Archbishop and the He's probably watching on his, like, drone LCD screen late. or something. 
It's got like a little remote access I don't tablet. Know what's happening in the Malam district? The Black Rabbit Brotherhood seized the neighborhood. And that's all I know. It was always a run-down neighborhood, but it's descended into anarchy. If there's a Black worse. Rabbit Brotherhood, I really want a rabbit mask. I'm hearing though. rumors of monsters rampaging through the district. Bunny mask would Most be better than the horse mask. Poor people. They need your help, son. My boy, you aren't real, but I love you. It's like system error. Please say it again. Rosa is it's a like, oh man, I should update it. a stronghold of the puppets. It's a hunting ground where the most dangerous puppets were. What's going on, Black Jerry Springer? I believe it's the epicenter. Oh no, you got banned. Puppet friends. We're not banned. You got you got a After moderated. All, I detected the strongest wave of ergo there. Especially for someone as precious as you. It's a perilous place. And when you walk a dangerous path, my son, it's best to take it one step at a time. Cool. Very industrial revolution. From City Hall to the factory with the key I just gave you. Vanini gave me that key. And now he's missing. Rescue him if you can. I wonder if there's any secrets in his office. The music in here is really cool. It reminds me of uh, the Nexus theme when you progress to opening the hole to go to the old one at the end of the game. Favorite part of Liza P is when P said it's lying time and lied all over the place. <laughs> so many good games, so little time. Uh, AC6, Liza P can't keep up. Yeah, and then there's like Baldur's Gate, which people already had access to. Lords of the Fallen's coming out. There's Tears of the Kingdom. People are probably already playing, still playing. You got, uh, you got Spawn in Call of Duty apparently, which is interesting. I don't know how that's gonna go. That's why I get more Mortal Kombat One just came out. You still have Street Fighter Six. I haven't played a lot of either of those. I still want to do the story mode of Mortal Kombat though. That is something I will stream. There's like so much stuff that I actually want to do that has nothing to do with games that just released and then a little bit of new stuff too that yeah, it's going to be like a lot of stuff. I don't know if I'll do all of it. Is that a firekeeper? That's pretty much the firekeeper, yes. Like the, it's the level up lady. How do you kill spurned progeny in Lords of the Fallen? Is that like the... Um, like the original game? AC6, Baldur's Gate, Liza P, Phantom Liberty DLC, Tears of the Kingdom, Lords of the Fallen. Oh, the new one. I don't even know what that is. Uh, you didn't spend all your quartz to get skills. Oh, there's still more? Was that in the same menu as filling up the, the graph? Like, I, I guess I can't do that now. I have to go back to the Geppetto, right? Uh, people come into the stream for the first time and asking questions about a completely different game that's not even out yet. Uh, just because. Because you can. Okay, let's go back to him again and spend more of it. My bad. I mean, if it is a thing you can do, people will do it. It sounds really strange, but imagine right now. Like, there could be someone glitching out in the corner in real life, just jumping into the corner of a wall and smacking their head off of it for no reason for like 20 minutes. There could be a dude eating his finger. There could be someone taking a shoe and putting it in the oven and then putting barbecue sauce on it and like having like a, 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 like a three course meal, dude. Who knows what's going on right now? Nobody does. How do you hit a no-hit runner? Uh, you have to travel back in time. Barbecue shoe? Yeah, exactly. There could be a dog that's like typing on a keyboard watching the stream and we can never prove it. And it's actually intelligent. With no owner too. The city asked me.
So Charge Dagger, that's actually really good. I do use that a lot. Enhance Fable Art. Uh, I'd say Fatal Attack's more useful. Cannot equip multiple quartz from the same type. Oh, it's got to be from a different one of the circles. That's what it is. Staggerable Window, and then we got the Pulse Cell, and we got Fable Slots. I'd rather do Staggerable Window. And we'll do the Fatal Attack. Alright, and then that's the last one we got. Yeah, I didn't see that right away. Went on the mini Twitch tangent. Alright. We're going back to... Oh, you could immediately warp to the hotel from there, too. Oh my god. Oh, it's gonna be in the comments. It's fine. It's fine. Just just farming more comments. Describing a normal day in Night Vale. Night Vale's an old game, isn't it? You're fully choosing to believe that was intentional. Wait, I'm I'm there are other categories? Go to the bottom slot? Oh I did. What do you mean? Or do you mean like the slot on the bottom doesn't have the same list of things you can put the quartz into. Like, both slots that are mini have different lists, is what you're saying? Two separate nodes, so you didn't even get any. But it didn't let me, though. Wait. I thought that you, like, I tried to go to the, the one below and it said I couldn't use it. There are four subgenres for the perks. There's more on the right. Okay, so there was something I could have done to select the slot that was underneath where when I pressed it originally, it wouldn't let me actually use the quartz. Like, there was something else I could have done. Okay, that's that's unfortunate. Well, too late now. <laughs> I guess I'm going to have two unlocked back-to-back -back if I get another two of the quartz. Which is not the worst thing. No biggie. I mean, like, hey, we we already play games level one, and also, I did Dark Souls three level one the first playthrough, so this is not anything in, in comparison. This is fine. Like, if I can do Nameless King blind level one for twenty two hours straight, that's fine. It's all good. Well, technically, I slept in between, so it's not straight, but it's close. It's very close. Wait, that's where we came from. Is the gate behind here? Did your first playthrough of DS3 on level one? Yep. It was a 200, uh, 220 hour playthrough, I believe. Or no. No, about 200 hours. And then there was a couple other people that did it along with me too. It was pretty fun. Here it is, the Nini works. Everything you see here belongs to the Nini. The classiest playboy and most That last hit must hurt so badly. That's a different type of wedgie asking. right there. Not just puppets. Almost every machine and tram and crod is supplied from here. You gotta be curious about the guy. What kind of person is he? Ah, I wish we could find him. That is. If he's still kicking. Okay, I'm gonna read the miracle cure, but I want to kill this guy. Oh wait, he's not gonna chase me. Yeah, we're not we're not in danger, we're good. Wait, did someone just jump up there too? Or is that that was already there, right? Wait, which one was it? It was uh Landmark guide or wait, Jeez. which blue pip tells you which item is new? Oh, this one, the miracle cure. My bad. Switch display. Buy the miracle medicine here. The miracle alchemist Clark Shore, also known as Doctor Cure All, has succeeded in making a cure for the horrible plague that has spread throughout Krat. Oh, he's he's reading this with enthusiasm. Made from unicorn horn, blood of a two-headed snake and boiled down Mandrake. Clark Shore has tested himself and confirmed that it completely cured the plague. 
The blue flag is not a divine curse. Don't be afraid anymore. Come see Dr. Kural Clark Shore. Prices may vary as it's limited. Side effects may include pregnancy, possible twins, and also wearing Crocs for the rest of your life. Oh, why am I... Ooh. That's weird. Oh, it doesn't, like, melt off, though. It just disappears. Took you a few courts to understand you needed to fill the whole bar, not gonna lie. Okay, so is that, does that mean somebody else actually did the same thing I did for once? Making it not that abnormal? <laughs> Someone else didn't play the game off. Mo, you did as well? Uh, waxy, yeah, that's, that was very waxy for a second there. Looked like that was dipped in eggnog. It's like chocolate covered donkey. Here we go. You did it for an embarrassing amount of quartz? Okay, so it's not just one mistake, then it was multiple. So, okay, then, like, it must. It wasn't obvious to me that that was the case. It was kind of like. Because the first thing I clicked said I couldn't use it, or it said something like that. So is there supposed to be like a tab button where you have to press R1 or L1 or something? Oh, this guy's got like the Logarius wheel. Oh, it doesn't poise through anything, damn it. Right off the tree. second. Got the cheese shredder. That'd be a really cool weapon, dude. Shredding someone into cheese in a game? Wow. Like, that's a pretty savage weapon, actually. Or imagine having a blender, like you had a ninja blender built into your arm, and you just put them inside and put the lid on. It's like a one-shot kill, but it just gives you like a fatality. That'd be crazy. Really happy to see you playing this game. Do you like it, Kinetic Cats? I actually have enjoyed it so far. We've been playing it for four and a half hours, roughly. I want to see what's up with this next part of the story. Like, I want to play through this next area completely. So once we're done this, I'll save the rest for tomorrow, but uh, it, it so far it's been good. I would say it's a solid 8 out of 10 for me, which is not a bad rating. It's pretty decent. There's, some of my favorite games are pretty close to that, so... So yeah, it's doing, it's doing well. It, there's not a lot of stuff I don't like about it at all. It's just mainly features. It's not so much like the actual game design from the story standpoint, the combat, anything like that. The music, even the characters are cool. It's just... Like, little things like the menus disappear too quickly, and then there's some things that aren't explained as in-depth, and then there's some things that are explained a lot, like, almost over-explained. Which could also just be me, but that's that's what I noticed. If you have an 8 right now, you really like this one? Yeah, I'd imagine it actually it gets better, right? I'm curious of, like, because I have this amulet that it boosts damage against puppets. I'm curious of how many enemies are not puppets, other than the guy that was the the horse dude with the mask. Oh, wait, dude, I... Wait, did anybody know you could do that? I, I broke the projectile. Unless that was, like, a glitch or it just looked like I did. Dude, I literally broke the projectile. I want to see if I can do that again, but I need more health, though.
Maybe it broke on the other guy playing Fruit Ninja. It might have not been a mechanic. It could have been that it broke on the dude. It looked like at the same time I swung that I sliced it out of the air. You can perfect block some projectiles. I don't know about bombs, though. I attacked it, though. That wasn't even a block. Like, I actually sliced it, and it looked like it, it didn't blow up. It, like, just... <laughs> like, it uh, disabled it. I can see this game being really fun to speedrun because it's not as open world. That's one bonus right now, is like the linearity makes the, the speedrunning strats kind of slim. Like there's probably not a lot of things you can do other than like when they get to the out of bounds skips and everything. So the routing would be a lot easier for someone that doesn't need to reference like a world record or somebody that's really good at it. Speedruns are insane, I can imagine, yeah. Are we allowed to backseat? Uh, you can backseat a little bit if it's something that would be really helpful for me, but I'd rather you not tell me something that's a, that's gonna happen before it actually happens. So anything for the story, any kind of boss fight coming up, anything like that. The chain. It's the chain. Throwing objects. A chain can be swung powerfully, inflicts strike damage on anyone in the area, and spins around enemies that it hits. Sometimes simple is the most effective. A quote from Stalker. That sounds really cool. Yeah, I want to try that. Missed something important? You'll say that. Okay, what's important that I missed? I'll go do it. Was it like a side quest of some sort? Maybe this guy? Oh, wait, what are these things? It's like, dude, I am robot. Well, Smith's in this game. He's the final boss. I figured it out, guys. Before the bridge, okay. Why, dude, why is that robot killing me? They have so much health. Friendly fire, I demand it. I want the big guy to just crush this little dude. Look, what, what's he doing? He's glitching out. The final boss is actually the last one. <laughs> Damn it. Actually, okay, wait, that could be, that sounds sarcastic, but think about Gwyn. Gwyn is actually the last boss. Think about Soul of Cinder in Dark Souls 3. You can continue the game without him sending you to New Game Plus, so is he the last boss? Ha! See, that doesn't sound as uh, silly as it used to now. That's kind of serious. Like, so then maybe you did spoil something. If you can go into New Game Plus forcefully versus choosing to, that is a spoiler. Yeah, the, <laughs> the ban him. And then you, you confirming it was a spoiler is even a spoiler of a spoiler. Or a potential spoiler of a spoiler. Wow. I thought that was a shortcut or some sort. Can we ban me? You can try to. Like, if you type in exclamation point ban in chat and then put my name, it should work. How do I get back up there? Just the ladder? Important item up the stairs, too. Right there. So this is what you meant by bridge, right? There's something over here.
Did he fight the big bad wolf? Ring, 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 banana phone. I, when I was a kid, I, I shit you not, dude. I actually wished I could pick up a banana and hear somebody on the other end. And it was pretty sad, too. Like, because I, I, I tried really hard to make it a thing and it didn't work. There's a couple things like that. Would you like to pet my new cat? She likes belly rubs. I would definitely do that, dude. I love cats. What kind of uh, cat is it? And what's the name? Tell me your address. I'm gonna like rob the cat or something. You're gonna you're gonna see it on the stream, and then purple's never gonna come back to the chat. No one's gonna know. Okay, it must have been something in the houses over there. If you go to the past, you can help Geppetto, the great gray wolf, when he's a child. <laughs> what? Geppetto, the great gray wolf. That's not a that's not a wolf name. I know you're lying now. guy just dropped a mixtape. Now, Jeez. you know what I'm called, and why I called you, and I want to know your name, but not till we're through. He's like, you've just entered the domain of a satirical, lyrical, spiritual miracle. Joker, dude. Morning, it walks on feet numbering four at midday, just two, no less and no more. It walks on three feet when the evening arrives. And if you solve this, then I'll know you're alive. By morning. What if it's the guy from Split, like the Beast guy? Like he, he walks on all fours, but he might walk on threes sometimes. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe in the evening he gets tired and one arm stops working. <laughs> Is that he's referring to? having too much fun by himself over there. You got the Trinity key. Can we go and call him again? Oh, he's disconnected. Definitely was a burner phone, not a real person. It definitely sounds like the Joker, though. Reminds me of that. Add in some, some weird mannerisms and then, like, tell stories about childhood and he's got the Joker down. Baby starts with four legs crawling on the floor. Later you walk on two. Once you're old enough, you need some help to walk, which is the third leg. Ah, oh, that's true. So I was gonna say human originally because I thought of the baby thing immediately, but I didn't think of the old person having the help to walk counting as a third leg with the cane. That, that was the one thing I didn't think of. So I immediately was like, baby? But then I'm like, it doesn't make sense with the three, though. But the guy from Split, though, 100%, dude. The beast guy. <laughs> I 
I still see that. Okay, so that's the only thing I missed over there that was relevant, right? It's a classic riddle, the Sphinx riddle. I was hoping that I play this bat well. I'm glad that you're here, man. We're uh, we're doing another, eh, I would say, like half an hour or more. So you made it for like the end of the first day of doing it. But I'm going to be playing this pretty much every stream until I beat it. Um, let me check and see. So it's the 10th today, Tuesday. I haven't, since we came back, I haven't taken a day off yet. I will probably take some amount of days off before I go to TwitchCon. And then I'll be gone on the 19th to the 21st. I may stream when I come home from TwitchCon that, that same day, but if not, the next day. So those are going to just be days off, those three days regardless, uh, from the 19th to the 21st, most likely. Uh, and then, yeah, there might be a day or two off before them. But I'm, I'm going to try to see if I can beat this and also get another challenge run done on one of the Souls games before we actually go to TwitchCon. And then that'll be ready to be made into a video when I get back. So that is the goal. But yeah, I'll be playing this tomorrow for sure. And probably longer as well. And I think between that and the rest of the week, we should be able to get it finished by the weekend or the end of the weekend. Sekiro next. I was going to do Bloodborne No Hunter's Dream, but I'm debating. I don't know. I'm not oh, sure, actually. This place gives me the creeps. It's like something's going to jump out any second. It's okay, pal. Gemini's looking out for you. Bloodborne No Hunter's Dream is fun. Yeah, it, it's something I've never done before. It's technically a deathless run with no upgrades, right? Can you give small advice about the weapons? Oh, go for it, yeah. Like, that kind of stuff's not a spoiler to me, because I already know about the weapons, so if it's something that would improve me playing, and it's not something coming up in the story, or like me missing, again, me missing a thing, it's kind of like a gray area, because I, I do want to know about some of the secrets, but I don't want to know about all the side quests. Oh, God. Since if I didn't find it, I didn't find it, right? That was really inconvenient. <laughs> wonder if the chains will kill these guys. Oh, you just actually whip the guy with it. That sucks. Love to see you play some Sekiro. You think you missed those streams? So Sekiro with uh, Kuro's Charm would be something I've never tried before as well. I'm trying to think of what else you could do on it. You could do level 1, but that's absolutely terrifying to go back to the game with after not playing it for a while, so... I'm not sure what the Sekiro run will be. Like, there's not many runs you can do on it, really. It's like a speed run, hitless, damageless, deathless. Technically, I've done, those, I've done all of those, but I haven't gotten a good speed run time. Oh yeah, Sekiro no parry, that'd be interesting. We could try that. That's a really good idea. Sekiro no parry might be it. The de yeah, the demon bell. Demon bell could be crazy. I think by the time I actually go back to it, I'll probably know. But yeah, what my goal was is just to, to do a weird run on each of the seven games. And then I'm going to put them all together into a marathon of a... It would be a speed run with glitches in each of them. And I'll be practicing each game probably closer to December and by the end of December doing a marathon of all of them back to back in around 12 hours. That's the, the target. Because I've done six of the games in 14 hours without glitches. So I think with skips and everything, if they're all the most updated versions, I think I could do like 12 hours for seven games. And we'll do that as like a one, one solid stream. Your handle has an advanced ratio that only works if the blade has an elemental part of damage. Uh, it won't work with this combo. You also need to take care of the slash stab compatibility when making a weapon. The slash stab compatibility. So, like, I noticed that it doesn't stab anymore, but I kind of like that, though. Is that better? And then as far as the elemental thing goes, I don't think I have something that has the elemental damage built in. It would be part of the blade, right? So, are you saying it's not worth upgrading this stuff further? Oh, boy. What's going on here? Dude, it's like Daredevil, like the when they when they find the gigantic hole that goes forever into the ground and there's like the secret there's the people trying to do the blood transfusions to be immortal. Oh my god, dude, it's the uh it's the pursuer and he's got two great shields. 
Wow. <laughs> I can't damage him from up here. The one you're using for right now, um, for Blade and Hitler, are literally your go-to until a certain boss weapon. I see. Yeah, it's been it's been okay, but I, I know that I'll probably switch it up at some point. I just don't want to waste upgrades, so if you're saying, like, hey, don't upgrade this more, then I'll save them for another thing. I was already kind of thinking of that. Oh, boy. Oh, whoa. Dude, this is literally the guy. It's the Reeves and Orma Great Shield guy from Dark Souls 2. do the stagger there. I gotta be careful. This guy's beefy, dude. The coil handle looks sick with the sword blade for, for this setup. It is pretty cool. Unless it's a different thing, the coil handle. I'm not sure if that's what it's called. Yeah, it is coil stick handle. Okay, there we go. See, I'm pretty bad with names of things in games that are new sometimes until I play them a little bit, so I just call them by like the way they look. I thought it was like a big... A big slappy stick that's electrified. So I, I would have said like big, big, big baseball bat or something like that. <laughs> big bonker, yeah, exactly. Someone want to let you rent out their PS5 so you can play this for four hundred dollars a day. You could be the lucky winner of a used PS5 that may or may not work. Plus shipping and handling. Doesn't come with the game. All products sold separately. Oh shit, why, why do I fall for that again? Yeah, this district is pretty cool, the factory. Electric slappy stick. And then now we're on the other side of the sky. So I guess there wasn't really much to succeed with on the other side of this other than getting over, over here. It's a little bit safer. I want a plunge attack. <laughs> These robots are so funny. He's like... I just want to be friends. <laughs> and he's like, come over here. He's like drunk though. <laughs> he's literally drunk, dude. Oh my God. Imagine, okay, like this is the creepiest thing. I, we've seen some scary things in the game, but those guys are so spooky, dude. Imagine in the middle of the night, like you just get up to get a glass of water and you just see someone like, just, like moving really slowly towards you. Yeah, they're moving in slow motion. They look like they're broken, too. Let strength be granted so the it's, it's like moving in slow motion, it. then he's just like... Boom! So and he just punches you and you fucking die. Had to stop for the pay action. Uh... Kaiopa Triani, thank you so much for the, the five months. Welcome back, dude. Did I say your name right, by the way? Yeah, this guy's got, like, a legitimate... support beam. And some other stuff going on there. What is that, even? I don't know why I didn't go for the... Oh, here we go. Nice. Okay, you can combo... You can combo an R2 into the sneaky attack. You have enough time to do that. That's cool. I'm not sure if everyone else knows that. I'm sure some people do.
He actually did Brazilian plus Italian name. Oh wait, no, I remember you. We we went over this before. I remember I asked you the first time, and I pronounced it right the first time too. And you said something about it, right? Like when you originally subbed. When does Will Smith show up? He's at the end of the game. That's a guarantee. If he's not at the end of the game, I'm, I'm actually going to get a refund still. I'm going to actually contact the developer and be like, I spent $79.99 on Steam, and I played the whole thing, and you made me think it was an iRobot sequel, and it wasn't. So I want my money back. What was my favorite all-time Dark Souls game? Out of the games they've made, uh, up to Elden Ring, Elden Ring is my favorite still. Not by a lot, but by quite a bit. So it would be Sekiro right behind Elden Ring. They're almost a, like a direct tie. Bloodborne would almost be a tie with uh, Sekiro, but not as much. So I, I would say like a 9.5 for Elden Ring, 9 for Bloodborne, uh, or again, maybe like 9.25, and then a 9 for, uh, sorry, 9.25 9 for Sekiro, 9 for Bloodborne, 8.5 for DS3 at this point, and then like an 8 for DS2, and then an, and like a almost 8 for Demon Souls, if we're gonna just change the ranks. If you run around the left of the big shield guy, you can avoid most of his attacks. I noticed that actually, that I, I was avoiding them pretty easily, and then I went for a really big charge attack and wasted the time. Instead of just going for the running R2 attack. Right here. Because he does this. He does the back punish. I probably could just predict that too and parry it as well. That's really good tracking. Wow. Sixty-nine with the rope. Nice. <laughs> Probably could get the charge, I just have to be really close. Maybe locked off too. That kind of seems like it. He looks a lot stupider when I literally just lock off and run around. It's a little too easy. Prove me wrong, man. Beat me up. Let's go. Come on. Belly button. Do robots have belly buttons? That's the question of the day. Or would it even be possible to justify a belly button on a robot? Would that be like where the oil goes? Quartz, the quartz fluid. Depends on the robot. I'd say it's bad design. Too, too, too exposed. If it's like a main functional thing to put stuff in, like that's just not a good location. How do you even justify building a robot with two shields as hands? Uh, well, when the entire world of Lies of P is just a bunch of puppets and robots and stuff, I think that it, it doesn't matter what you do. But if you're a human, you're just weird. That's definitely a thing. They definitely, uh, like, look, they probably have robot parties and they're like, oh, that's a human. Like, look, at the, look at the flesh bag over there. Stupid skinwalker. It's like, what are you going to do? Be creative? <laughs> We can calculate anything. Fucking infinity. Algorithms. <laughs> and then they're like, why are we laughing? It's like, because we were programmed to. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. 
Ha! Huh. Hey, you got a new MP3 update for your lap? It's like, yeah, that was that was installed last night. It's pretty cool. It's like mine's an MP4. It's like it has a music video. <laughs> That's what robots talk about. A biomechanical robot could have a belly button. But would it just be for the enjoyment of the person looking at the belly button, or would it be an actual function? It'd be fun if, funny if the power button was a belly button. Yeah, this thing becomes very, very slow when you just run around it. Super tanky still. That was like the havel of the game. Less dangerous, though. Legion Caliber. Enhancement materials. Uh, correction device used to modify Legion arm. Found only at the workshop. Nice, that's cool. So we can go back to the... the hotel. To Eugenie. And then upgrade the arm. Do our belly button serve a function? That's what the, umb the umbilical cord was. So not necessarily a function, but like, it's just like a scar, essentially. It's like a, it's like a story to tell. But I will say though, belly button doesn't make a lot of sense when you have a hole inside of you because there's nothing in there that makes it a button. So, prove me wrong. You have to have the outwards belly button for it to actually be a button. We were talking about this. It would be really funny, though, if someone made you laugh so hard that it actually popped out, like... And then, like, it, it was, like, an indication knowing it's, like, you've had one of those laughs before. It's, like, yeah, I had a belly button. I had an outward belly button laugh. It's, like, it actually, like, legitimately changed me for life. It's, like, yeah, I gotta get surgery to put it back inside. <laughs> Wish you didn't have a belly button. <laughs> if I didn't, it would... I would actually kind of panic a little bit. That'd be weird. That'd be a very irrational thing to panic about, but I, I probably would, though. It'd be like having not having earlobes. That'd be strange. You said that because you're having belly having a belly button implies you got conceived. True. It's a good point. How was the game? You want to play this, but you can't. Uh, Miriam, it's actually pretty damn good. I'd recommend it. So whenever you do have a chance to play it, I can't say anything that's bad about it that would that would keep me from buying it again, if I could go back in time. Also, if you like Souls games, I think that you'd appreciate what they did with this, because there's some things that are different, that are unique to the, the actual game world and the concept. And and they're actually, they're just kind of cool. It's like a, it's a pretty well thought out game. It's not like they just are like, oh yeah, like placeholder enemy here, like random thing here, do whatever works, just make it seem like a an action experience of some sort. It's actually, it seems kind of purposeful. Which, that's a hard thing to do in a game that mimics something else. Because it gives it its own little way of, of uh, you know, seeming original. Even though it is, like, of, a, of the exact same genre, subgenre. There's even, like, legitimately stolen movesets from some of the enemies in Bloodborne, which it, it works well for the enemies they made. Uh, Fantacat and... Tactiful, thank you so much for the, the Prime subs. I appreciate that. Why do your names both sound like Pokemon? Fantacat and Tactiful, that literally sounds like Pokemon, dude. <laughs> Would you consider this the best Souls like so far? It's it's one of them. Like Code Vein, I really enjoyed. This is stacking up pretty good against that. Very, very good. Mortal Shell also I really enjoyed too. And I would say already it's better than Mortal Shell by a little bit at least. Uh, and also I guess because it's a full game and Mortal Shell was sort of a half game, it was half price as well. Uh, like I'm giving that, that's part of like my thought process in ranking it too. It's like if it was to be a full game, I'd still, I'm trapped dude. Why am I trapped here? Oh my God, that was scary. Yeah, so Despite Mortal Shell being a half game, I would still say this stacks up pretty good for what it actually is. And the story is much better. 
in terms of uh, how much work they put into it. Yeah, like there's there's some things I would say in terms of polish that I would need to see fixed for it to actually be like like wow like wowing me to the point where I'm like holy shit that's really cool. But like there is things that are still impressive for sure. Like the the characters' voice voices like when they um, when they speak like their lips moving with the voices would be huge. That'd be insane. A better cutscene so far would be pretty cool. Like better cinematics, more cinematics, and. Better voice acting for some of the characters. Again, that whole thing when you're like turning on the floor and stuff and it feels like you're floating a little bit. That being gone, that would be huge. But I also am like super nitpicky on like weird things that played a lot of games and I'm also I'm doing that on the stream all the time. I'm making videos. <laughs> so I, I I look at things with like a super analytical perspective when it comes to games. Like, none of that stuff's gonna ruin the experience, but it's definitely, it would add to it so much if, if they could have done that. It's probably a reason they did. Oh no. Okay, wait, what do we do here? Do you have any throwables? Oh, wait, I have an idea. Check this out. Let's see it. Oh, I got a moonstone again, too. Chloe, thank you so much for the brand new sub. I appreciate that. Why is everybody subbing? What's going on here? I've been in this tunnel for like five minutes and everyone subbed when I got in the tunnel. Is that what I have to do? I have to just be in this tunnel the whole time and we got the infinite sub glitch in real life? It's like two subs per minute glitch or something like that. <laughs> That's insane. Uh, what? <laughs> it's the tunnel of subs, dude. <laughs> Instead of the tunnel of love, it's the tunnel of sub. Uh, Monchero, thank you for the Prime sub, and Love Muffler, thank you so much for the, the Prime sub as well. I really appreciate that. That's crazy. Is the ball going to roll through the character? Wait, where did, where did, where does it even come from? Does it roll back? Or is it gone now? Oh, it comes out of there. Okay. My bad. Dude, Nomad, thank you for gifting Rodner a sub as well. No, actually, I know what it is. I know what the... It's not even the tunnel. There's a time on the clock that happens, especially for Europeans that are like six hours difference in time, or people that are in the UK, you know, all, all the time zones that are time traveling right now in the future, it's so late that you're getting delirious because it's, it's like you're, you're past your bedtime. And it's the same thing as if like you were sipping on the Kool-Aid, that super strong Kool-Aid that stained the pitcher. Like you, you put it into like a mug or like a container and it and it was in there for so long the color of the Kool-Aid got burned into the plastic and then you left it too long and you drank the residue and became hallucinogenic and decided to just gift a bunch of subs like it's the same effect as that it's the same effect as being on the wine or on the other substances it's like sleep deprivation similar to it's all that stuff like basically it just makes you make different decisions you're just you're just more impulsive now i could say wacky doodle ding dong and you'd be like yeah that was a really good i remember that that was that was awesome dude i remember the wacky doodle ding dong <laughs> i don't have to make any sense but if it was like two hours ago i'd have to be like this game's pretty uh pretty good i like the way that the lever is actually mounted inside of the contraption and the mechanism in the, in the case with the slot is really vertically imposed to make the proper grounding mechanism <laughs> I wonder if I sp started speaking a language that wasn't real, if you guys would still, like, pay attention. <laughs> it's like, I used to say, like, I, 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 I should just switch to a black screen and see if people still are in chat. <laughs> oh, fantastic. The pipe fit like a glove. Nomad, oh, thank you for gifting like a Kinetic Cats a sub as well. I appreciate that. Idiot, thank you. you thank know? you very much, guys. He's staying in the Tunnel of Subs. He's cheating. I wanted to get the item at the end of the Tunnel of Subs. Kool-Aid is the start of society's downward spiral. Yeah, like, and I remember when I was a kid, I, I didn't drink Kool-Aid for long when it came to, like, making it at home, but when I was a kid, sometimes we'd make it, and it would stain the pitcher, and whenever I drank it with that residue in there, it was, it was stronger. There was something going on. It was, like, fermented almost. So. Wacky Doodle Ding Dong's your favorite part. <laughs> I have to stop them. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, we're gonna Wacky Doodle Ding Dong this guy. I just have to make sure I heal. 
The wacky doodle donkey. Oh, that was close. Your mom was right, you're gifted. <laughs> when gi being gifted a sub means you have a high IQ. Stop watching when people stop subbing. Oh, that might be a dangerous thing to say, though, because what if someone really just wants you to never go to sleep and they're just weird? It doesn't even matter who they are. They're just across the world. They're like, I don't even want this person to leave, so I'm just going to keep gifting subs. And then, and then you find out it's me on another account. I have to stop them. Is this the guy that we were supposed to meet? The Benini guy? He sounds like Benini. Oh, easy now. Yes. Don't need to kill me. Surely we can discuss this like reasonable people. That's a cool Hold outfit, on. actually. Geppetto's a friend of yours. He's got a typewriter on his arm. Did he sent you. I, I'm I, I'm fine. Please, help me find my butler, Pulcinella. He's a puppet and a friend. Those stalkers were supposed to be working for me, but... Uh, well, they bolted and left me to my fate. That was not helpful. My butler went to barricade the back door, and I haven't seen him since. Pulcinella has been a loyal companion. I'd hate to lose him. The factory is, of course, my priority. We must take it back. But please, keep an eye out for my... for my butler. His outfit was a pre-order bonus? Consider I was wondering what the pre-order bonus was. Oh, you in kind. Is that all you get for the extra money? Is just the outfit? That's it? It's a me, a Mario. Pulcini. You got to help me get out of the factory. And Pulcini, I don't know where he is. Early access, okay. Oh, Pul Pulcinella. That's all right. It's not, I didn't even say it right. I said Pulcini. That also sounds like a a food of some sort. He's very caricatural. He is definitely. I feel like again, if Super Mario was a real person, he would look like that. It, it's it's very possible. It's supposed to be an Italian accent. It's it's definitely a Italian accent, but it's a bit different than actual people I know that live in Italy that are that are friends that have like thick accents <laughs> for sure his accent his accent is dog trash <laughs> is dog trash worse than regular trash favorite character so far this is my favorite character too before all this uh, this chaos fuoco was the puppet in charge of the furnace russian but italian nationalized yeah he was a stand-up fellow once now, not so much. I'm told he's still building an army of puppets and marching them on the cathedral. How did this nightmare come to be? Please, you must stop him before he does any more harm. Somebody touch a mass spaghetti. I want to. I want to listen to that meme now. Who took a mass spaghetti? Even though it's not related at all, it just reminds me of that. Mario Italian. <laughs> What's this guy hiding in the big top hat? Better question. Why couldn't we get the top hat as a pre-order bonus? What was in the top hat that we were supposed to not know? That we could not receive? Oh, that was that was not good. Not related at all. The spaghetti thing is so funny. When I saw that originally, I... I thought it was from an actual cartoon, but was it just made up? Like, I maybe it was from a cartoon. I don't know. Wait, how do I get up here? Oh, I can't. Oh, we didn't even actually rest at the Stargazer. That sucks. Let's go back up there. He has a tall forehead that he's conscious about. He's got the five head. I think it's something else, dude. I think that there's a person inside the top hat, <laughs> and, and he's, he's keeping them hidden. There's a small individual in there. He wants the smoky fold you upstairs, yeah. Okay, let's go kill this guy. Oh, 
get the secret. The secret stabby. Oh, overheating damage, what? What is that? Okay. I'm just not doing too well on this. I think we can parry this guy. Okay, man. Dude, he's trapping me. Dude, I can't. What was that? Is overheating mean you can't move? I thought it was going to be that I set on fire. Need a shovel? Yeah, that was, uh, that was weird. Developer on Kool-Aid, what if Five Nights at Freddy is Bloodborne? <laughs> is anybody going to go watch the movie? I saw the trailer for it. It looks... It looks kind of bad, but then also kind of good at the same time. And I actually don't even like the game at all. I played it. I don't like the game. But it's intriguing enough to watch. And I'm sure if you like the game a lot, you're probably going to watch it. Smiley face, what's going on? Thank you for the smile. This guy's not very smiley. He's kind of frowny face. Oh. Oh, man. Why is there always, like, a lunging guy? <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. so early. Oh, yeah, that, that, dead? Thank you. Don't get hit in possible challenge or what? On this game? I think you could do a hitless run on this game. But with the mechanic of having to do the parries and everything, or like relying on that as an advantage sometimes, I wonder I wonder if you would be avoiding that in a hitless run. And I also wonder if in speedruns people do that a lot too, because that seems like a very big gamble. That if you miss, you're going to fall behind pretty quickly and even die really quickly from certain things. Because, like, that one boss we parried almost every attack on, it was a lot more simple. It was, like, a pretty, like, calculated pattern that he did. On some of the enemies, it just seems weird. They just stop attacking, then they start, and it's super delayed. There we go. Oh, wait. Stagger? No? No? Ooh. He's coming up the stairs. Ah, uh, scary. Oh, come on, dude! Don't give me some mercy here. Come on, I'm trying. The fodder duel, one on one. That was the guy, like, on RuneScape that would wait until you're in the wilderness fighting someone else, and then, like, you're about to die, and he'd come up and he'd shoot you with, like, an arrow from, like, five feet away and take your stuff. You'd never actually engage in an actual duel. He would just finish you off. Oh, that was close. RuneScape, PTSD in the, wil the wild, yeah. <laughs> No way you can't do a hit list without parrying. Some bosses just jump at you with every single attack and make creating distance impossible. Oh, so even dodging wouldn't really be an option? Oh, I, I lost a lot of ergo. I didn't even notice. I keep forgetting it. Oh, yeah, we have 4,000. Okay, let's go back and get that and level them. Where am I going? I'm going the wrong way. Oh, was it 12k? Does it, does it save some of the ergo that you get? When you die and then eventually goes down to zero, is that how it goes? So you don't get punished too much? I didn't know I had 12k, I would have leveled a lot more, damn. Wasn't paying attention. 
It was the Kool-Aid discussion. You don't lose everything but most of it, okay. Let's level then. Or wait, we can't even yet, we gotta go and teleport. Oh, Bran Brandon, you said don't lose the souls too, damn it. <laughs> okay, I wanna kill this guy and I wanna see what's going on with this area and then we're going to wrap this up. At, at the very least, I need to kill this guy. That's, that is the quest before we finish. I don't think he's gonna be too hard. Now that we have a, you must know, also, I think I have another upgrade for the odd. weapon too, unless it requires three I'll of the moonstones. Power to help you. I think I have two. Oh, also, I have a lot of the poppable ones too. I can use all of these and level. Been saving them though. Can you transpose certain one certain ergo things like the chunks? A treasure hunter may want this rare one. Like, is that? I guess maybe you give it to people for something else in trade. Like you don't pop the the big ones. Yeah, rare ergo doesn't seem like you want to pop it. I picked up traces of high powered. Don't spend rare, okay. Mr. The See, that's something that someone would do probably if they hadn't played a Souls game. They'd just be like, oh yeah, I'm just probably gonna do that. No big deal. Oh, we got the the Fulmini. Is that how you say that? Fulmini? I think everything's Italian in this. It accumulates electric blitz and discharges an electrical shock. That's way better. Let me use that. That looks really cool. And then she can upgrade the arm with Your that one gear that I got. Right? I know my way around. Upgrade weapon. Oh wait, blade upgrade is one Let's thing as well. Be granted, so the world might be mended. Or yeah, blade so upgrade and weapon upgrade. Hmm. I wish I could clean mirrors for a living. It's okay, just something wait, I, I can Fire myself axe. doing. Is that worth it? It's always sorry, it's always the blade, but that one's just not on anything, that's why, because I disassembled it. Dan, thank you so much for the 45 months. Welcome back, dude. I wish I could clean mirrors for a living. It's just something that I can see myself doing. <laughs> Alright, wait, Dan, I'm gonna I'm gonna counter you with another joke. Um Oh, this is a really good one I, I heard recently. Oh, what do you what do you call um Oh, what is it? I know the punchline. Oh, okay, wait. What do you call a deer that can't can't see? What do you call a deer that can't see? Blind? No idea. Get it? No idea. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Okay, I'm gonna upgrade this one more time. Uh, you can bring Eugene, Eugenie cranks to alter the weapon handles. Oh wait, was that not for the th arm then, or is the arm gonna be on this menu? Oh, that's a different thing. Never mind. Assemble weapons. No. So how do I how do I use that one thing on the arm? Is it on wherever she brought me to? Like I have to go back to that other menu. Way. Change the handle, you think so? Wait, what's the what's the fire axe handle do? Allows you to temporarily withstand the enemy's attack. Ooh. Seems pretty good. Although the handle for this one has that ability where it staggers pretty easily and it does a big attack. I can I can try a different one. I'll try this one. No, oh, that's not what I want. I want this handle with this blade. There we go. Are you playing technique or mobility? I'm doing the mo. Is it isn't it motility? 
Are you today's date because you're 10 out of 10? <laughs> Wait, is it actually 10? Dude, ah, that's bad. That's like a, that, that's an actual only, that's a joke you can only use today. That's cra That's crazy. That's an on, that's an only October 10th joke. Wow. Mo motivity, not motility, motivity. My bad, that's kind of weird. It's 10.11 for you, so rip. It actually is still for three hours, or like two hours, 58 minutes, 10.10. 10. That's crazy, that was a good one. Oh, that probably was the best joke ever. <laughs> You'd recommend experimenting a lot. Yeah, I haven't I haven't done too much of that with the weapons yet, but I'm kind of concerned just because I don't have the upgrades for anything else, right? I've used them on that main blade. And I feel like I'm gonna get a better weapon and then that that'll be it. I'll probably switch it and lose all the progress that I did on the upgraded weapon, on the upgraded blade. Yearly joke, one time a year. Yeah, exactly. Consider the training camp outside to see the move sets. True. Can also do that as well. Okay, what we're gonna do then we'll kill this guy, and then next time when we come back tomorrow, we'll we'll screw around with that before we actually go and do the mission. Or finish this Vanini quest. Because I'm assuming if I like if I'm in here right now, there's probably quite a bit more I have to do before we actually are completed with this part, right? And I technically said I would be done a half an hour ago, but <laughs> this game's actually that fun, like where you don't even, I'm not really paying attention to the time that much. I'm just looking back and I've noticed it's been a lot longer. It feels like it's only been two and a half hours, but it's been like five and a half, so it's a good sign. Oh, that's not a good sign though. Okay, here's a good question for someone that's like straight up addicted to this in chat right now. How long did you play for your first playthrough before stopping, like the very first time you played? How many hours? Ah, oh, come on. That delayed attack has like almost no tell. Try the other arm. Oh, that didn't do anything. Like 10, because he had to go to sleep for work and school. He played for 10 hours, wow. You have 130 and you're on New Game Plus 3. When did this come out? How do you have 130? Around nine hours, okay. That's pretty solid, eight or nine. So you guys are making me look like a, a weenie right now. Five and a half, okay, Steph Skyrise is actually kind of on the same page. I don't seem like I'm that much of a noob. That's good. Although, how far did you get in the nine hours, though? Did you get farther than I did? If you didn't, you suck. I'm joking. <laughs> did the weapon get even longer with this handle? It feels like it reaches really far. I don't know. Two hours you play in smaller batches. It's probably for the for the best. Everyone else is going to be going to work or school or whatever, and they're going to be, like, trying to use their, uh, their parries on the teacher or on their boss. They'll be like, yo, I don't have any pulse, pulse uh, things left. Like, my health bar is low. Going to be seeing status effects and everything. <laughs> All the hours are just one session. I just meant in one session, like the very first time you turned it on. Because like I could see if it wasn't as late, if I had started this earlier, we could have played for like another two, three hours easily. You'd, you'd go a bit forward after you defeat the guy? Okay, I'll do that. Holding block button when an attack is coming is better than just tapping it to try to get perfect guard. Do you ever block when something's coming and then let go of it and try to do it again? Just in case the hit is really early, is that kind of the strategy? So you're like that? 
Oh, I didn't change the handle. You're right, I didn't change the handle. That would make sense as why the ability didn't work, because I didn't have the full three bars. Usually... That's how much it would take to do the ability with this handle. I don't know if the other one's the same too, but... I was thinking, I'm like, it's not working, I'm trying it. Oh no. Yeah, I think holding the thing beforehand works better. It's like a placebo effect too, somehow I'm actually getting the parries there. And then that didn't work, okay. Never confirmed in the menu. You have to press X, don't you? I'm used to switching the stuff around and then you exit the menu and it works. You don't get full eight parry frames and you just tap. Try tapping with no enemy around. P doesn't do the full block animation like in Sekiro. Oh, true. So you actually have to, like, bringing the weapon up is part of it then. That's kind of weird. Can do it at the Stargazer. Oh, okay, 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 wait. Let me try one more time like this and I'll switch it. Holding when it's coming is the correct way, I see. I See, that's what, when people were saying hold the button, I was wondering why they were saying it was easier to do it. So you're not actually waiting to the last second, really. That can't be blocked because I didn't do it properly. Oh my god. Wizard, I'm good. How are you? How was your day? You know life this? You made it to New Game Plus 5, got all trophies, maxed out all weapons, but two? Wow. <laughs> That's great. That's pretty crazy. Oh, I forget. Yeah, I forgot the souls as well. Uh, it wasn't that much, though. It was like 800, right? This is where you guys learn that I, I don't care about the, the souls as much as the average person. I could, like, lose all of them and be like, yeah, at least I'm still playing the game. Other people lose, like, a thousand. They're just, like, doing the Darth Vader no. It's like, no. They even consider just quitting and deleting the file. so bad at that. Okay, wait, maybe we shouldn't be going for this. <sighs> is this the final boss? <laughs> That'd be pretty funny if this is the final boss. I would be very disappointed. I was really hoping Will Smith would be the last boss, because we have the iRobot factory right here. It may be the last one. I really hope it's not. That wouldn't make any sense. If this was the last boss of the game, like after this guy even, that would be way too short of a game. I would have beaten it in six hours. Doesn't make any sense. Like unless I missed a lot of stuff. Shovel guy comes back with two shovels. <laughs> you have to fight Shovel Knight. But he's 2D so you can't hit him when he turns sideways. Good. Not good. Oh, so you can actually escape that. Oh, he got stepped it right into there. No, no, no. Ah, oh, he ruined it, dude. That was beautiful. He ruined it. That was like we had a surprise party planned and he spoiled it. Now he knows.
You gotta get a rerun on that. There we go. We got him. Workshop Union Standard Radiation Converter. Hidden... Is that Hidden Moonstone? Uh, this one is not as good for electrical and acid. For reduction and resistance, but then fire resistance is quite a bit more. 51 to... Oh yeah, it's like double. I'll, I'll try that for a little bit. Chanthor, thank you so much for the raid, dude. You made it here like when we were going to end, though, so it's going to... I'm going to play like a tiny, tiny bit more just because you did that. I was saying once I killed that guy, I was going to I was gonna call it quits for today and resume. So you guys can thank Chanthor. I'm going to play for another like five, ten minutes at least. And then we'll we'll bring everybody somewhere else and like we'll, we'll calm them down because they're probably going to be upset. <laughs> what were you playing today, dude? Warning, beware when handling corrosive chemicals. I didn't even see the warning, dude. Like, it, it disappears so fast. Be careful to not melt your fingers. Imagine you were in a factory and it's like, warning, may cause, and then it just like, literally like, it, the, the advertisement on the screen goes away. You're just like, what does it cause? And then you go into like a chamber and you, le you learn that you, you have like irreversible effects. Your face turns upside down. Like, well, we don't want that. Into the furnace. Oh yeah, this way. You're playing Dark and Darker. Oh, cool. I've seen a little bit of that before, but I've never played it. Was it your first time? Mom said it's your turn to raid. <laughs> Wait, what we should do, actually? Chanthor, I should host somebody, and then we should pretend it's actually your raid instead. And then just deny any accusations that I raided somebody. Just be like, nah, it was you. That'd be really funny. You can, like, hijack it completely. Everyone just spam Chanthor raid. When we raid, please do it. We'll see what happens. It'd be really funny. Oh, we got a boss. Tollbooth Will. Uh, or sorry, Willy. Thank you so much for the... Dude, th wait, you subbed three months in advance? Wait, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, were you already subbed, or did you sub three months in advance from the beginning and weren't subbed? That, I don't even actually see that alert that often. That's really crazy, man. Regardless, thank you so much, dude. King's Flame, Woko. Oh no. It looks like an armored core, uh, like a, a, a mech design that didn't work out too well. Like a recall. They were gonna use it, they decided not to. Little janky. Two, three, oh, yeah, that's definitely the, it's like the armored core thing. Like the facility where there's the cleaner. Shoots at the fire, too. That did pretty good damage, 278. That was, was that the, the hand ability alone right there? Okay, I'm going to try that at least a few more times. If Armored Core came out in 1785. There literally is a boss in Armored Core that looks like that, kind of. It's not, like, exactly the same character model, but it has, like, a spinning component, and it also shoots flames, I'm pretty sure. Uh, on and off, you enjoy the commentary? Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you, dude. Well, welcome back as well, but thank you for subbing in advance. Cinder Carla's used mech. Yes, there you go. That's the one. How can you leave us now, Spooky? Imagine I beat the boss right now. I was like, yeah, I was going to end in like an extra 10 minutes, but it actually only took 10 minutes.
Oh, but you have to like do that right in front of them, don't you? 541. Oh, you can charge it. That's really cool. It's got a weird swing back thing. Dude, look at the combo. 21, 39. Get out of here. Who is this guy? I literally, like, I was, the stream was hijacked. This isn't even me. I don't even know who's who it, who it is. I couldn't tell you. Halloween came early, dude. What's going on? What is happening? Oh, oh, I don't want to overheat. That's fine, though. That's fine. Oh, he's shooting me now. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Don't, don't do that. That's not okay. That, okay. I can, I can handle this. That's perfectly fine. Yeah, I can, I can still handle that, dude. I can still handle that completely. I was making jokes, but, like, there's some serious shit happening right now. Dude, I beat it! <laughs> I was actually... I actually beat it. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay. Alright, Chanthor, I'm gonna, th I'm gonna dedicate that to you, because if you didn't raid, I wouldn't have probably tried the boss a second time at all. I probably would have saved it, because I, in my mind, I was already going to save whatever was in that room for tomorrow. So that's pretty crazy. So this is definitely going to be a Chanthor raid. Everybody in chat has to type Chanthor raid, all capitals. I'm even going to just, like, type it myself. And uh, I think the game has autosave. But just in case, I'm going to sit right mended. here. We're going to find someone we can host. So the world might be mended. Yeah, just copy and paste Chanthor Easy raid. That's it. JJ go next. Mismanage Molotov. That was that was like suspiciously easy, and I think I got a little lucky too. But that was weird though. <laughs> Second try, you took way more. Why? Well, I, I took like wait, I took more tries on the first boss, which was supposed to be easier than this. So that's that's pretty crazy. Although that guy was kind of slow though too, right? Wow. <laughs> I wish that was actually planned. That was that kind of surprised me. How, how do you do the helium voice so well? What's the helium voice? I don't even know. How, how would I sound like I'm on helium without, like, a voice changer? All right. Well, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the stream. We are going to find someone we can host, and I'm going to surprise them. I'm going to say, say Chanthor Raid because Chanthor raided me right before. I'm just going to make that a thing now. We're going to confuse them and make them think that he's hosting. And then you can even host the person, too. And then they'll think they're from your chat. We'll do that. Uh, so here are the socials. Definitely check out the YouTube if you want to see the full playthrough of this edited when I finish it. Uh, there is two new videos you might have missed. There's a Bloodborne tier list. There's a comparing all the uh, FromSoft games from Demon Souls through Sekiro, Elden Ring, Bloodborne, De like tr Dark Souls trilogy. The atmosphere in them. Which one had the best atmosphere and just ranking them. Uh, the Discord will let you know when I go live. TikTok has some clips on it. If you have a TikTok, I'd appreciate you following it because there's going to be a lot of stuff on there in the future. And then the Twitter is also to know when I go out live ahead of time. Like I'll usually post on there about 20 minutes before. But yeah, this was the first day, first playthrough of Lysa P. It was really fun. I really appreciate you guys being here too, especially with the fact it's a little later than I would stream at this point. But I'm glad we beat that though. That's cool. At this point. All right, who's live? Let's see. We got... Oh, we got V-Sweat. V-Sweat would know that we're, we're memeing, though. He would know. Uh, I'm going to raid... Uh, dude. It's a tough one. I am going to raid... I'm going to raid Hemptet. Hemptet's doing a de-rusting of all bosses for Dark Souls 3. I don't know if it's a run, like a hitless run or whatever, but he's really cool, though. And he might get confused by this. So everyone say Chanthor raid, and I'm gonna I'm gonna queue that up right now. Yeah, he's done a lot of hitless runs before, and I think some speed runs on DS3. So I'll see you in Hemptet's stream and again tomorrow.